Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mage the Ascension, the Victorian Age. I'm your storyteller, Kelly. Are you seeing him? And I'm very excited to be back tonight as we return to the Victorian Age and deal with some of the fallout of Chapter 12, or Episode 12, as it were, uh, where the characters went to meet with the Order of Reason and Mr... Uh, Mr. James Morgan in particular. Uh, if you're joining us for the first time, this is episode 13, the luckiest episode of season one, uh, and uh, there's a lot to catch up on. But the super quick version is a bunch of mages from all over time and space have accidentally become a little cabal uh, that have been pulled into uh, investigations of a Jack the Ripper-esque murder um, have been hunted by the technocracy, have been on the quest for a dead man that was incorporated into a Frankenstein's monster type thing, and have burned down not one, not two, but I think three historic landmarks in London. Is it is it two or three at this point? Because you burned down the tavern, you burned down the crystal. The well, I mean, it's, I it suppose it depends on what we call. A historic landmark. I was just thinking yeah, there that. There was the so stables. Not, I would say just one. We've just burned one. down three buildings. Yeah, yes. we built one historic, like, one historic I would only landmark. call Crystal what Palace the, the only historic feature yeah. building. Yeah. But then there was the tavern and and also the and uh, the stables the barn we were in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I will okay. say I was only tangentially associated with any of these. <laughs> Same. Nice. Same. Which you will have your day. That sounds great. I might have been directly responsible for two of them <laughs> and a, <laughs> an adjacent. Indirectly for three, for the third yeah. one, yes. Darcy was directly responsible for one. Yeah. All right. And so... I may have made fire bigger on the third one. I used fire to try and get the monster, but you know. That's, mm -hmm. As you do. Uh, so without Use what further... you got. <laughs> so uh, why don't we pass around uh, and everybody do uh, tell us who you are, who you're playing, and any announcements that you might have. And uh, then we will do our final announcements and start game. Let's go ahead and start with Christine going to Big Circle. Hello, I'm Christine. Um, I use she, her pronouns, and I am playing Dr. Evelyn Taylor, our Electrodyne Engineer, um, Society of Ether member. Nice. She's kind of straddling the line between them. Um, and in other words... Um, I don't know. I'm looking at this exact blouse on the historical emporium in a pink sprigged. That could be like, good. Pink floral. And I'm like, oh, um, I could have like little pink flowers all over me. That might be fun. Fair. I am. Uh, I am trying to figure out the the title of chapter or of book two of this game. So any of you who are fluent in French, I could probably use you for the title. I am not fluent. Not fluent, but I could mm. probably work something out. I took a linguistics of the French language course. Ooh, I have several years of years French ago. immersion and took <laughs> French linguistics, but I am not fluent. I, I know science. French in high school. Yeah. I was good at it. I haven't done it in 15 years, though. And it can help and then run it past someone who's better at it than me. Fair. There are a lot of... Wow, there are a lot of different words for this. Um, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Let's go ahead and... Uh, do you have any announcements, Christine? I'll be streaming tomorrow morning, so join me there. Nice. All right, let's pass over to Amy. Hi, Amy. Hello. Hi, I am Amy. I use she, her, they, them pronouns, and I am playing Chastity Prudence Goodwin, our Celestial Choristy, Chorister slash Cult of Ecstasy. You can see I kind of merged some words there together. Yeah, we're doing great. Yeah. Thanks. Um, Any announcements or fun things to mention? No, but... um. I'm excited about Extra Life Weekend next week. That That's an announcement. Uh, so yes, next week is Extra Life Weekend, where we are holding not one, not two, but 13 games. It was going to be th 14, but I wanted to sleep in a little on Friday. Um, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and we will tell you more about that very shortly. But you definitely want to come and watch that. Uh, also, if you watch this game on YouTube, they will be being released uh, all this week to get some hype up for that over on YouTube. And that includes the Mage the Ascension technocracy game that Jen ran. And uh, if we hit 115 patrons over at patreon.com slash dorktales, that will become a once a month campaign. So a chronicle. So definitely consider that because uh, it was a hell of a lot of fun. Um, Let's pass over to Jen, in fact. Hi, Jen. Hi. Uh, hi, I'm Jen, and uh, I play Josephine, um, 
and Josephine Carrington are Order of Hermes. Any any fun news or anything? I mean, is it the time for the fun news? Um, yeah, go ahead. You can announce it right now. Okay. Uh, and I successfully passed my seeking today, so I am now at Arete Four. Which Exciting. is. Yep, and mm. that was recorded, and Fancy. I will be releasing it sometime. Uh, if you watch this on YouTube, it should be released before this session. Um, it is going to be uh, on our YouTube and on our Patreon as a podcast listenable link uh, for any tier. I think I'll make it any tier for that one. And um, yeah, you can listen to it. It'll just be like a still image probably of Josephine's art uh, from the wonderful Brahahaga. And, uh, and yeah, you can listen to the whole thing uh scored and edited it's about an hour and a half long ended up with when we started the call i was like it'll be like 20 minutes no you said something like 30 to 50 um it was 30 plus 50 yeah you were sort of correct <laughs> that's true but All right. it was and good la- did you have fun i did yeah and honestly the re- only reason it really ran that long is because you know decisions have to be made so yeah. <laughs> that sounds great uh let's pass over to robin hi um i'm robin i use she her pronouns as does darcy harkness um our uh member of the verbena and i i guess this is probably the last game that i have to update i think then we're full circle of my laptop fix <laughs> Which, Jen, I need to message you. Maybe I should draw, b- drop off your computer that you so generously loaned to me for the past, like, three, four weeks. Um, well, I'm, I wanted you to get to at least a week of games anyway, yes. so yes. I'm glad your laptop has held up. <laughs> yes, it is It is back to normal. Even uh, Acer called me on Friday, I think, to check in and see how it was going to make sure everything was fine. So that my case has officially been closed with them as well. Um, but I do have a 90-day parts warranty on that, so I need to move keep that in line but yes uh much exciting and thanks to everybody who donated to robin's gofundme to get that set up and all of that Um, any leftover funds will be used for nefarious purposes and probably to buy darcy a new outfit i have a feeling um yeah i found a shirt on historical emporium that i really like for oh yeah maybe close if you haven't already closed your um your gofundme down might be a good time oh yes make sure that nobody else tosses into that since it actually got fixed mm-hmm. because it's funny when you tweet at a company and say that their product caught fire it doesn't matter if you're in warranty sometimes yes it's true it's true um they Strange don't like that, that. it's they, crazy they it's crazy it's weird uh so folks we're gonna be starting in just a minute before we do that i just wanted to say a couple of quick announcements just so that you are aware of things that are happening here at dork tales uh as was mentioned next week is extra life which is extra life um charity to raise money for the children's miracle network it's a weekend where we run as many games as we can sanely over a weekend in order to raise money for kids you can show up you can affect the game with your donations and there are even prizes and and raffles and things like that to uh, get something back for your donations which if you are in north america are tax deductible and uh, so if you make a lot of money and want to save a bit of money it's a good place to to put it um the the extra life people are phenomenal uh, it is a charity that really makes an impact. Unlike a lot of charities that are a little shady, this is one that I have been really happy to work with for the past four years and and strongly suggest you come and enjoy. And at the very least, if you don't have the money, just come and watch the things. Spread it around. Share. share. If you help us signal boost, you are doing just as much because if someone with a ton of money to donate shows up because of you, that that you get credit for that karmically i'm pretty sure um and it's sometimes where we get to you know show off pilots that might turn into games it's really Mm -hmm. true it's really true and uh the other thing about that that you should know as well is uh for one it's a lot of fun uh but for for two i was gonna say it was a signal boosting show up and watch have fun and there's something important what was it it's gonna be weird I'm running three games during it that you should all come and watch. They're mostly D&D, but one of them's a They Came From game. 
which you get to try that out, which is really good. Oh, thank you so much, Soul. Oh, that's what I was going to say, is that, uh, thank thank you, Soul Omen, for the donations. I was going to say that uh, this is not a shill. 100% of the donations that you make, uh, unlike what Soul Omen just did, uh, 100% of the donations that you make uh, go directly to the uh, BC Children's or Children's Miracle Network, whoever is a, in the local provider of the player that you donate to. So this is not us asking for any money. Uh, if you want to do that, there are donation links below. There's also our Patreon. Uh, which is going to have a lot of podcast stuff coming up very soon, as well as another episode of a special They Came From miniseries for Halloween. Um, besides that, uh, I I had two final announcements that are going to take 30 seconds, so ready. First of all, uh, I want to thank Bones Coffee for uh, supporting us by being uh, our, our one of our affiliate supporters. I am drinking uh, their Chocolate Mole Frog's Breath uh, Nightmare Before Christmas right now. And it's spicy. And uh, it's very good. So uh, if you also want coffee, go support a good company. Use code DORKTALES at Bones Coffee to save 20% and to give us a portion. The other thing is that as DORKTALES is growing, we're starting to work with other role-playing game creators, uh, which is why I'm very excited to say that we are doing a collab this month with, well, this month and a couple weeks in November, uh, with Elderbrain, which is a producer of 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons or whatever they can legally say, while not being owned by Wizards of the Coast, materials. Uh, if you are a fan of Dungeons & Dragons and we're looking to buy their new game, Torrents of the Spell Hoarder, check below for a link. If you back it this month and use that link to back it, uh, Dork Tales will get a percentage of your backing. Looks like it's a nautical-themed game uh, that's going to have like lots of new spells and classes and all of that. So if you're into 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons and you like seafaring exploits, pirates, and like hidden treasure and, and all of that whole type of vibe that is very Josephine, um, then definitely go and back that if you were already going to and help us out. It doesn't hurt because it literally costs you nothing. I was going to say, Josephine approves this message. <laughs> oh, you've been asking Jason, uh, someone in the chat has been asking Jason Carl about Mage. Tell him that, he, bring me on. I'll run it so he doesn't have to. I'll, I'll even dress like him. Yeah, they're probably working on Mage 5th, and I am very curious about what they're going to do with it. And if Paradox Entertainment is watching right now, I'm sure they'll do an excellent job and should hire me to work on part of it or run games for them. I could I could hang out with, like, Erica Ishii and B-Dave. Right? It's They're, like, amazing people. <laughs> really? Like, I... I, I was this close to being in a game with Erica Ishii and I keep almost being in games with B-Dave. Like it's, it's at the point where I feel like we live in the same apartment building and mm, we just keep missing yeah. each other in the halls, but I see his name on the buzzer. He's on a much higher floor than me, but fair. fair. And he's always in the gym. So, you know, dude built. Anyway, uh, I think that's all of our announcements for today. So, hey, if those are the type of things that you would like to to do and join us for, please do. Uh, and if not, don't, because uh, I'm a storyteller, not a cop. Um, uh, but definitely join us for Extra Life, because that's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, any last thoughts before we head in? Then without further ado, let's head back to the Victorian era with Mage the Ascension. <clears throat> We're going to hop in right with There we go. The ride back to the Dashwood estate is a sullen one. The three of you piled into the back with Dr. Freeman driving. You could hear the sounds of late night London. It's nearly two o'clock in the morning. And the streets, well, the streets are not empty, but they are absolutely the least full that you have ever seen them. It is raining, not torrentially, not misting, but a nice steady drizzle, heralding the late autumn. The smell is less than pleasant. 
The water is dredging up all of the soot and horse shit from the streets and casting it into the air, particulates that are clinging to every inch of the outside of it. In the front, Dr. Freeman pulls a scarf higher around their nose to block it. And inside of the carriage, you have about a half hour before you make your way back to Notting Hill. Is there anything that you're speaking of as you go? That, that, that was interesting. If you mean deeply unsettling, then yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, I, I, I definitely mean that. I think they were definitely trying to catch us there. Yeah, admittedly, I'm a little surprised we got out as easily as we did. I, I, quick out of mm -hmm. character question. Um, of course. I forget who, were we all told, or is it just Joseph or um, Evelyn that was just told that um, we're being hunted and we're safe in this manner, but they want the stuff afterwards. Was that just Evelyn talking with um, her husband? Um, you know, it's been a couple of weeks. So I'm going to say yeah. that... Uh, it definitely was told to her. Um, Evelyn, would I you have shared? You were all told like you were safe in that space. I remember that, in part that being said for certain. Nobody okay. was going to attack each other in there. Yes. That it was a safe um, haven inside of. Okay. Okay. Cool. But That's yeah, I was thought. told for sure they will hunt you down if you do not give it back. Sort of okay. Thing. Perfect. Um, I, I just was trying to remember exactly what Darcy knows at this point because it's like I um I mean that he seemed really sincere about the fact that we were okay when we're in there but I don't know what that means now that we've left the building I think you can assume that it means it doesn't exist outside the building. They will hunt us just as they did before. They weren't shy about attacking us on the street when I met you. We need to run and we need to find a way that they can't track us easily. Maybe I can try and talk to Mai and figure out if there's some sort of ward we could put around. How are, how are you doing, Evelyn? Um, I suppose better than they could be. Um, I, I don't truly know how much of that was James and how much was not. They seem to be controlling him, using him as a mouthpiece. I think they were deliberately trying to delay us. They were, I believe, fully intent upon breaking hospitality. You think you'll encounter him again? I don't know. They want the box, right? Yes. Well, I think that means we need to get out of London with it as soon as possible. Are we supposed to take it? We're we supposed to take it to that doctor 
contact who's in pieces and dead. Yes, right. unfortunately. Maybe there's somebody else we could take it to. But, or simply try to hide it. You do remember now that you have a key that you picked up. Yes. That was apparently to uh, to Dr. Saxon's lab. Yes. I think I found I found a key, and I hope mm. it's that key. You were hoping, yes. I mean, I did find this, and she'll reach into a pocket in her skirt and pull it out. It's a rusted key, oh. about as long as a woman's finger. I mean, the I'm head, hopeful that it's what we were looking for. The head is an iron skull. That's... It's rather morbid. And... Considering that... The, what were they called? The skeleton keys? A little on the nose, don't you think? A little. Well, I am friends with... Well, friendly acquaintances with, with the wife. Um... So we could potentially go back and I could try and distract her again while wherever his lab is. Or his lab's probably not where he lives. Don't think lives. she knew. Mm. I, think, I think something I read, it's potentially in the Tower of London. Oh. I think I'm right on that. Hmm. There, that, that was, was what, what you understood. So, so I, I suppose to... we could go poking around the Tower of London. There's, if it's a skeleton keys place, so there's a good chance we'll get uh, run into several others. I suppose. And we probably need to disguise ourselves a bit better. If there's a watch out for us, I'm sure we're not that hard to spot a group of ladies just running around. It's not. Well, then we should at least get cleaned up. I second that. Yes. Also, some I I. It's been a really long day. I wouldn't mind actually sleeping a little bit before the sun comes up. I agree. Yes. Yeah. I'm also exhausted. a little hurt too, so some bandaging some wounds would be probably not a miss. And I'm fairly certain that I just, I, I don't want to have a risk being erased from the timeline tomorrow morning or this morning. I... I don't know what time it is. I just want a nap. At any point, do we start to realize that one of us is not here? No. In fact, okay. So it just have... completely. Do we you think she's even... back at the other, the home, or she just slips your mind? Okay. The very presence you, of you Josephine, don't remember I exist. <laughs> okay. You're just not thinking about it. Have you ever been somewhere? out with friends or at school or something and then you remembered oh we've left kevin at home you're having a home alone moment basically it, oh it's it was a two and a half no. men meme <laughs> <laughs> but i get i get the the idea i think we forgot something if you remember you forgot it, it was not important yeah <laughs> cut to josephine in the void Meanwhile, as we, as you say that, we actually will cut to Josephine in the void. The streets of London are, once again, speckled with particulates, aerosol of coal dust and shit. The scent of seawater, spray and burning flesh and wood is still, still clinging to you like the mood from awakening from a particularly powerful dream. And with that, you step out to the street and the cab that had been called for you is waiting out front. A squat man with a bald patch is going to wipe the drizzle off of his scalp and redon his hat. Good eye. Hello, mace. Hello. Are you Miss uh, Carrington? I am, yes. 
I'm Bill. I'm going to be your driver for the night. Come on in. Let's get you home nice and safe, huh? Thank you. I hope you don't mind. Um, uh, I had to move a couple of things, so it's, it's a bit tight in there, but uh, it should be comfortable for you. That's perfectly fine. Thank you. Oh, and don't worry. It's all strapped in. Where am I, man? Sorry. And he's going to hop down and pull the door for you. Can you see uh, that as he does, it's it's a double-sided carriage, both seats facing each other, and uh, the seats facing back-to-back uh, -back with the driver, I should say, uh, are full of beer kegs. They've been strapped in pretty tightly. Um, they're, pardon me, I should say beer casks. Full casks banded barrels quite quite old sorry about that love I'm doing a delivery lady and uh, normally I don't get called this time of night of course it's it's fine we'll make do don't worry they ain't gonna crush you thump, thump. he smacks one of them these uh these bear um, and don't worry they ain't gonna leave these barrels have been in service for Oh, I see generations. Made by monks, you know. Hmm. Over at the, uh, monkery. Fascinating. Yeah. Well, I should get you home. It's, uh, it's a number I can count. <laughs> Let's get you home before I can stop. Thank you. Um, and remembering that I'm pretty sure I still have my kinetic kinetic shield up. I'm going to climb into, <laughs> into this okay. precarious position. Sounds good. Now they are strapped in quite well, yeah. and um, as you as you go inside, you will see that yeah, they are ancient barrels. Now, Robin, I'm sure that you could tell me um, uh, how long these barrels can work. Um, so, how long is a barrel usually good for for service use? given that you are a professional um, alcohol maker in real life. Yes. Um, depending on um, what is the purpose of the barrel? Is it for strictly storage uses or do you want to impart flavor? Uh, I'm going to say that it does imp Would it be usable for storage after it's finished being able to impart flavor? Oh yeah, totally. Like so they, how, long, people, how long is like, a service cask? A like for actually imparting oak flavor, it's depending on how many times you empty and fill it. Um, it can be like five to ten years before we call it a neutral barrel, which means that it no longer really has any oaky flavor that'll impart into the liquid that you're imparting. But you can have barrels that are neutral for as long as you keep them in good like condition, keeping them basically with liquid inside of them so they don't dry out or proper storage when they are empty. Like people age like special like vinegars in 50 year old barrels like they're in barrels for 50 years and 20 year old vinegar okay, like, you so can go like saying generations is not an overstatement no not at all excellent um all right so um and you will see that there is a stamp on the side of it uh that says that this is particularly from um from an actual known um uh, known place in london this is stamped with uh, the symbol of St. Edward's co uh, Convent. Assuming that it was established at that time. Just double checking. Yes, before the the, the first convent was destroyed in the Blitz. There, just double checking my history there, so I didn't actually just invent a convent. Okay. Uh, but it does say uh, St. Ed Edward's Convent on the side of it. Okay. The horses neigh as the whip comes down, and Bill drives them across the city. As you're taking a moment to collect yourself, the slide will open. So anyway, as I was saying, um, uh, if you don't mind, love, um, it's on the way. You're headed... Uh, Actually, the, the barman didn't say where you were headed. Oh. 
does Josephine remember in this city she's never been to I before? I want you to make me... Do you have Streetwise? <laughs> Why would I have Streetwise? <laughs> okay, then please make me a... Make me an Intelligence and Streetwise roll to remember. Uh, streetwise so, is no penalty if you don't have it. Yes. Yeah. Except for the lack of dice. Yeah. Oops. Hmm. Oh. Sadly, I don't have a specialty, but that was two tens on three dice. Okay. So you remember the rough area. You remember a couple of landmarks nearby. There was a church on the corner. Um, okay. Uh, um, there were a couple of shops nearby. There was a printing shop nearby called Notting Hill Print. Book and Print. Notting Hill Book and Print is what it would be. Mm -hmm. Are you over Notting Hill? That's right. If you don't mind, then, um, it's, it, um, I've got to go by the uh, by the Covenant, and it's on the way. Um, or you, or you plum tuck it out. You can take a nap, and I could just grab those things out when when the time's right. Or uh, I could, I, yeah, yeah. It won't be much time. He seems pretty set. You could try to convince him otherwise, but he seems. I think that Josephine's still a little, like, she she knows that the others left without her, but she also is still kind of reveling in what just happened so I think she's fine with letting him do as he wants to do at this point she's not in a rush to get back okay and uh, as he starts prattling on alright so it's going to be a nice night there we're going to be able to go and, uh, and, and see the uh, the funny nannies are going to be there. We can take a look at the habits. And uh, it'll be a nice little tour. Are you from London? You ain't got... You, you speak funny. No, I'm not from London. Oh, it's all right. Nobody's perfect, love. <laughs> and as he's talking, you are going to feel a weight shift on the seat next to you. And a man is going to lean forward with a silver eye glistening where his right eye should have been. Scars blistering around the leathery face and a stinking wet jacket. So where are we going, love? Apparently to a convent and then home. Right, you are going to the convent. Nice and easy it is. Yeah, you don't seem surprised to see me, Silver Eye says. Josephine's going to just, like, look around the carriage and be like, that guy's going to hear everything I say in here. And I, I know, I know that this person wasn't in here when I got in. So, um, I'd like to use forces to just dampen the sound of our conversation. Absolutely. I would like you to make me your first Arete roll at Arete 4. <laughs> your difficulty so on this is going to be just a difficulty of 4. Good, because I got one success. <laughs> okay. So that'll be enough. To, I'll say that it's enough just to ride the conversation out. Yeah. Um... So yeah, then I'll... I'll uh, so the thing I'll about London him. is that he's going to paddle on. It's going to kind of like... Cool. Kind of mute a bit. Yeah. And uh, I'll turn back. It's... um. Is it O'Kirin? Ah, O'Kirin. O'Kirin. 
I'm a little surprised, but... I've never heard of anyone who had their seeking follow them into the real world, unless I'm still exploring. Oh, oh, lass. Exploring. Be just the part of it that you're beginning on. Prepare for it. It's a lifetime of exploration. <laughs> Unless you screw up. In which case, I start over again with someone better. Or worse. It's always luck of the draw. I've been leaving you alone until now. But tonight... Well, ah, uh, well, Molly, we, uh, we seem to be at, uh, at an interesting point in our relationship. You've interested me. And I'm interested in seeing what your future has in store for us. I'm glad you're interested. And you're right, this does seem to be an interesting point. I look forward to working with you. Try not to die. I hate it when they die before they get too powerful. I will attempt to avoid that. Good. Well, I'll be around. Take care of yourself. My well. girl. So anyway, that's what I said to the missus there. And, um, oh, did you fall asleep? Why don't you sleep then, love? Just like my missus, she falls asleep all the time. Right in the middle of my conversations with her. It's just, it's quite rude, really. And O'Kieran is gone. And I'm going to be quiet so I don't restart the prattle. <laughs> the front door opens as we cut once more to Dashwood Manor. It opens, letting in a plume of steam and letting out the, the warmth of the fireplaces, hearths, and stoves that are lit inside. It's, once again, quite, quite warm. As you're idling on the street side and Dr. Freeman parks his horses um, and takes them around the side, he lets you out to the front. A second cab pulls up behind. You split the door. Sorry? Oh, just chastity. I'm like, were we expecting someone? The door of oh. it will open and you'll see Lord Macduff sitting inside. He looms out, adjusts his great oh. cloak, and steps onto the pavement. That makes that makes sense. I don't, but I'm paranoid. Give me, I'm paranoid. Give me a moment. Ladies? I wanted to head back to Piccadilly. I didn't want to, to do it. Without checking in on you first. I know the hour's late, but... Doctor. Are you doing fine? Is there anything I can do to help? Um, I suppose as, as well as I can be. They are... Their each is disturbing of what they're willing to do. Hmm. If there's anything I can do, 
to aid your endeavours. Or to settle your heart. I'd be happy to. Thank you. Yeah. We had... Had we shown him the box? No, you had not. Okay. We showed him if, the if, plans, if you, though. If you, yes, he had the plans, and I think he, he took them in... Uh, you showed him at the, at the very least. I think you okay. gave the plans to Dr. Freeman. Mm hmm. Hmm. And we well. showed Dr. Freeman, or didn't necessarily show Dr. Freeman the box, but it was there and it explained activated. what happened. Yeah. 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 yeah, he was around. Okay. Macduff looks over at you. The way things are going on. I imagine I'll be in the city for a few more days at least, if not longer. What's your plan? Uh, I believe we were not planning to stay much longer in Lon London ourselves. But... That's a shame. It was... Minus the arson. It was good working with you. Um, <clears throat> we should probably talk longer. I imagine you're probably a bit tired right now. Unless, it's been uh, a long day, yes. Mm. Uh, Miss Harkness. I. Are you tired right now? Or do you have time to talk? I could call upon you again if you're tired. Uh, no, no, I, I'd, I'd hate to inconvenience you and make you come out all this way again. Um, the company would be worth the trip. Ah, uh, oh, oh, huh. I, <laughs> um, Darcy's gonna get very flustered at that comment. Um, no, I could, I could, uh, I could, I could, I could speak now. I am not quite tired, and she's going to like hold back a yawn. Here, and he'll reach inside of his carriage and pass over an umbrella, hold it up. It won't take long. Uh, no, of uh, course. If, uh, if you ladies don't mind. I'll make sure she's safe. Of course. Evelyn will go inside, but she's going to be carefully, like, dart to the first window that looks out over the porch area and be keeping an eye on the situation. <laughs> I think mm -hmm. Chassie's going to follow Evelyn in and just be like, you, you've, got, you've got this covered? Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... to... Hmm. Stay within shouting distance. Hello, is Noted. someone in here? Is someone home? I heard the door. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. I'm. Where? Oh. Uh. You'll hear the sound of uh, wood on wood grinding, and the, the toppling over of a great chair, and the mm -hmm. sound of a leg splintering. Ah, oh, the fucking chair just dropped me. Ch ch oh, Chastity. Hi. Teddy will scramble to his feet. He's dressed in um, just a pair of pajama bottoms at the moment um, and has a miraculous black eye. Where did that come from? What come from? Oh. The... I've, been, I've been doing I've been doing sit-ups, as you can see. He'll flex his abdominals, and there there's a crease. It's nice. It's not like a six-pack. But... It, it's mm -hmm. that this I ran into a door. Okay, I need to. I, I need to change, and. Boy, you're telling me we could all use a little, a little change. We. we... You know what? You know what? Yeah, I don't. I don't care anymore right now. Just c come here. C come here. I need it. I'm gonna wait. get blood all over you. I'm sorry, but just come. Come here. 
<laughs> is it yours? Are you okay? It's not my. It's not mine. It's not oh, okay. mine. Okay, come on, bring it in. They're they're, they're 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 dead. I. Oh good. Well, I didn't like them you... anyway. Wait, who's dead? Is it was Evelyn? A are you evil dead? Person. Evelyn, are you are you dead? Evelyn. Is that the girl? No, thing? I'm simply covered in death and disgusting things. Oh good, that's fine. <gasps> Is Darcy dead? Where's Darcy? No, Darcy. Darcy's talking to Macduff, Lord Macduff. Who the fuck is the um? Have I met a Macduff? The old, the older like gentleman. From, like from, like from the play. Did you meet him? No. I thought she kicked him in the face. I, yeah. Oh, I would have liked to see that. I'm sure we told you. I believe Why it was are, accidental. What do you need, ch chest? I need new clothes, and I need to wash my hair, and everything, I, I and my help. gloves are, and she's just gonna pull her gloves out of her pocket, like, or, like, where they've just been tucked in, and they're just, like, stiff crunchy and now. crunchy and dry, <laughs> and she's just like, I... Oh, are you... Hey, hey, it's okay. And... I just really want to go to bed. Okay, well... Okay, okay. Alright, well... We'll get you out of those clothes, and we'll get you into, into bed, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Uh, he's gonna put his hand on, like, the side of her hair, right at the back of the jaw. And it's like, it's okay. And mm -hmm. he's going to, kind of drunkenly, but caringly, mm -hmm. do something that Chastity probably has not had in quite some time. He's going to squeeze her naked hand. Oh. Okay, I'll I'll get the um, the bed, the bed warming thing. Yeah. Um, thanks. Um, uh, and I think she's seeing this. She's probably got her like her head just like up again, like leaning against his shoulder, just kind of like I half know. mumbling it all into his, just like. <sighs> everything's everything, everything's okay. Everything's okay. I really did, I really did run into a wall. Um. You gotta stop fighting furniture. It wasn't my it's fault. I you. made a joke at, at that my lady, and she made oh, my balls hurt me real bad. She's really scary. Yeah, she kind of she cursed. But like... she, she cursed my boys. I think mm. it's over now. I, I I God, I hope it's over. So I've been drinking. <laughs> okay. Um, but I'm I'm, there, I'm 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 sober. There's a lot of blood, and I'm more sober There's now. There's a lot so. of blood. I'm so, I'm sorry to make you sober up. I'm sorry. No. No one no. wants this. I'm so tired. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. I'll get you upstairs. Come on. Okay. I'll let she's Evelyn just gonna sneak. She's making sure they're safe. So like. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Come on, let's get you to bed. And he'll he'll guide you up the stairs, and we'll help you with whatever you need getting undressed. But we'll yep. mostly be focused on like throwing the bed sheets back, putting one of those warming pans under it after he scoops some fire coals into it, mm. and sets it up nice and uh, nice and warm for you. As you get ready to slide, and he's like, "Do you do you want to be alone tonight?" No, 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 no. No, no. Okay, let me just give myself uh, a, a little bit of the of a worker's bath, and I'll yeah, um, I'll be right there. He pours some cold water in a basin, and starts to scrub himself off of the sweat <laughs> and, and booze. No, you're you're my best friend. You're you're amazing. I don't think I've said that recently yeah, I... enough. Oh, yeah, you're. You're mine. Um, Amelia's fine. She's she's as asleep mm -hmm. in the other room. Um, I could get her if if you need or. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I'm clean enough. Okay, I'm not convinced I got all the blood off either. So I don't think I I think I don't think it matters. Just, just. Look, they literally murdered people in this house. I don't care. Yeah. I I can buy new yeah, sheets. Yeah, we almost got murdered in this room, in this house, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. And um, Ta uh, Teddy will <laughs> crawl into bed. Yep. They're just going to fall asleep. And I highly, <laughs> like, I half expect that they'll make it over to Amelia's room by the morning. 
<laughs> just like cuddle puddle cuddle puddle that's gonna be mm -hmm. the weirdest poly couple ever <laughs> no not true even remotely but but a pretty weird poly couple that's gonna be weird meanwhile outside the rain is coming down quite hard but standing on the corner underneath an umbrella you're sheltered for now I'm sorry to ask you to to speak at this hour. I know that you've got a lot to do. You probably a lot of that's probably sleeping. I probably eventually, but honestly, it's been a, quite a adventurous evening. I don't know if I could fall asleep right now, if even if I wanted to. Um, a lot has happened in the past twenty-four hours. I don't think has happened in my entire lifetime up until that point so hey I wanted to talk to you because if you're if you're leaving London soon there's probably not much time to do so Are you warm? Um. Yes, strangely, I don't think I've, 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 I'm feeling quite warm all of a sudden. Um. Where do you plan to go when you leave London? I don't, I don't know. I think, I think France has been thrown around as somewhere. English, I suppose. Isn't that true? <laughs> I won't mix wor uh, mince words. I've been doing that too much recently. I came down to London to investigate the, um, uh, the murders. I ain't too much more, uh, too much more further along in my investigation than I'd like. I think I, I'm going to be in London for quite a bit more, until it gets under wraps, and until I kill whoever or they kill me. Let's hope it's the, the former, not the latter. I, I would, I would hope so. Um, it's hard work to do on your own, though. And it's been good working with a lot of you. Even in small measure. As much as it sometimes pains me to admit, he'll rub where you kicked him. Mm -hmm. um, I, again, a thousand apolog apologies. I'll give you time I... to apologize. <laughs> what? Miss Darcy Harkness, I guess what I mean to say is, um, you've left uh, a bit of a mark on me in the brief time that we've known each other. And it's rare that uh, a man in my profession and of my uh, mystical disposition has a chance to meet, um, eligible bachelorettes. I know that traveling without a man could be a problem. I was hoping that potentially, if you'd be amenable to it, we could solve each other's problems. Oh? I was hoping as, uh, as attractive as Harris might be that you would consider staying in London until I'm done, and then heading back up north with me. I know I'm a bit old, but, uh, got a lot of life left in me. I am incredibly honored. Um, 
I don't think um hmm. well no I've never I've never been as charmed by a sweet man as like you I've only met uh filth before uh how can I say that any more tactfully I don't think I could um I would I would dearly dearly love to take you up on your offer Lord Macduff um but I feel like the threads of fate have tied me and these other fine ladies together. And I think I need to find out who and what is messing with us. Hmm. And there I was thinking that... Uh... That the fates had had a different plan. I it brought it brought the lot of you together, and th through that, I'd argue that uh, that brought us together. You and I. But I I've been wrong before. Uh, God knows I'm uh, probably old enough to be uh, <laughs> well if you reconsider How much in, longer are you going to be in London for? Until my work is done. Well, I also have some work to do. But I think we should keep in contact. Mm. If you could give me your address that you currently are staying at, and then maybe somewhere up north. I'd like to keep in contact with you. Because that offer is very tempting. Well. And maybe later I could actually take you up on it. Hey. That would be good. I'm staying at Piccadilly. He'll give you the hotel name. And, um... If you would be interested at all, um, <laughs> I know that I'm an old horse, so if you have any reservations about buying, as I said, I'm in town for a few more days before you leave as well. If you'd like to meet up to um, spend any more time together without chaperones looking through the window, the silhouette of Evelyn is fairly visible <laughs> because Evelyn did not ro make a stealth roll. No, she didn't. Well, she wasn't going to. She was just going to be quiet about it. Okay. But uh, if he glances over, she will very clearly look. I'd like that, Lord. I think I think it would be great such a gentleman as you to take a lady out for a find dinner or theater. Oh, the best theater. If you're in town tomorrow night, call on me. Or send a message so I can call on you. It's a date, Macduff. I'll look forward to it. And here I was worried you were about to break my wee heart. No, I think... I think I'll save that. And put that off. I... I apparently I'm more for the face than the heart. If 
tomorrow night try not to wear boots. They suit you, not me. <laughs> I can probably arrange for that. Then until then. Good night. Uh, and he will do a bow and will kiss the back of your hand if you allow it. She will. Okay. Because this is still an era where that was good. Yeah. <laughs> and wasn't kind of weird like it is today for some reason. Unless you do it just right, folks. Just don't put that out there. You got There are ways to do it. Yep. Anyway. Uh, and he will offer you the umbrella to keep. And will wander back over to his carriage and they will ride off. Darcy's gonna walk in the front door, shut it, and then just like sink down and sit and go and look at Evelyn and be like I have a date with Lord Macduff tomorrow if we're still in London. Do you think we could uh, push whatever we're going to do until the after that? Alone? I. Are you intending to come off as his whore? I understand you're from the country, Darcy, but you don't go about with a man unchaperoned. No. You'll be considered a prostitute he picked up off the street. Oh. But we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it later <laughs> tomorrow, won't we? Technically, you can only go about with a married woman. Luckily, you have one of those. Oh. Would you accompany me on my date, then? I'm sure McDuffle don't like. I suppose like. I might have to. Good lord, Darcy. Either that or my certainly could. Oh, She's of an no. age. Oh no, I don't think I would subject McDuff to that. That would not be fair. Are you sure? Sub subject McDuff to what? You hear a crackly voice. Your hum. chaperonage. Um. Hi. Your, fan your family home girl. I've been out. I've been out in the garden working, trying to get the circle back up and running, and you've been gallivanting around. And look at you, covered in. Yeah. <sighs> yes. Did you perform a ritual sacrifice inside of a sewer? No. 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 However, we did come across a scientist reanimating bodies. It was fascinating. Disgusting, but fascinating. There might be other applications that it could be used for. Not quite in the way that she did it, because that was very unholy. However, fascinating. Potential implications for healing. Yes, it was quite interesting. We've had quite a night, my... Which is um, why we have dead juices all over us. But apparently was... Darcy's caught the attention of a lord. Oh, really? I... Evelyn just being like, spill it all. <laughs> Darcy's gonna, like, shoot a glance over to Evelyn and be like, hmm. She's not courting war with my... <laughs> I see. It's true. So. It seems quite honorable. Ah, honor. That's what all the men bring to the table at first. Mai takes a step down from uh, from the nook that she was standing at to the main floor. Mm. So. Have you already fucked him? Uh, no, my I have not. Um, but not, why not at all. That's that's the point of it, ain't it? It's generally not what you do here, though. Aye, but you're not a verbana, are you? That's true. Sex is a powerful conduit for magic, and it sounds like what we're doing and where we're going, we could use as much magic as possible. Oh. 
Also, speaking of which, and before anybody calls me being a hypocrite, the next time that ragamuffin attempts to make a comment about my babs, I'm not just going to... Oh, I'm not just going to squeeze his balls. I'm going to snap him. Also, Teddy got into trouble while you were, while we were away. Does the boy do anything else? I imagine not. I've only known him for a very short period of time, but... Yes, he, he does tend to have that air to the him that he, uh... He attracts it trouble might... like honey tra attracts flies. It might be amusing to treat him as a child. You know, the pinched ear lobe. Pull him around by the ear. Make him clean something disgusting. He wouldn't do a good job at it, so it's not something you actually want clean, but make him, use make his him do something disgusting. Yeah. Be nice for him to put that somewhere useful for a change. I should be working for most of the night. Um. So, we've briefly gone over such rituals, mine, but I think you might need to refresh my memory a little bit if I am to be oh, performing I'm to such magic. Memory. <laughs> Slightly less effective in my experience, but I've heard good things from some of the sisters from Greece. Particularly from a particular island up there. But I'm not much of a sapphic. I think Evelyn's well read enough to know exactly what she's talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go get cleaned up. I have had enough of dead being juices. In the morning, we'll discuss this more, as well as our travel itinerary. Hey. I need the two of you to keep a good eye about you. And to keep a good mind, too. To know whether or not we should do something with that Amelia girl. She's a clever one, but a liability. Yes. Good luck explaining that, that to Miss Goodwin in the Mar. I feel like she would have to understand, wouldn't she? I don't think she'd want her friend. I have a feeling Chastity had a very difficult night and might cling. Don't think that's... I think that might have been the first time she's had her hand in somebody's chest. She, she seems slightly traumatized. She lives long enough as a mage, it won't be her last. Oh, I'm sure, but regardless... Both of you get cleaned up. We'll discuss this in the morrow. I might um, have yes. a pleasant evening. I think as Elvon goes upstairs, she's going to start undoing her cuffs and getting ready to like just get in a room and okay. get these as you were, off. As you were climbing up the stairs, uh, the front door will open and Dr. Freeman will enter the main hall, shaking off gouts of rain off of his coat. Oh, good, you're back. Yes. I'm back. Did you... All but one. You weren't able to find her. It's a hard grow around here. But I was able to track down a couple of leads. It's going to be even harder to find in France. Then I suppose you should probably look for it now. Instead of chauffeuring a bunch of ladies who could probably do it themselves. I'm just trying to keep a... I know what you're trying to do, Vivian. And anything further, I would like a perception and alertness roll. Yes, please. Because I think once Evelyn catches the top of the stairs, she's going to pause, or at least walk slowly. Uh, what's my difficulty? The difficulty of this. Um, are you trying to do it subtly? Yeah. Okay. I'll say difficulty eight then. Okay. Three nines. Jesus. 
Okay. I'm just trying to... You're just trying, what, to be a good man? You're being too showy. You're trying too hard. If you weren't so black, I'd say you look like a ghost. What's wrong? She... We went to the Order of Reason stronghold. She was there. Cherrier. Yeah, it was her. Any blood? From the barbs or the claws? Uh, no, I got out of there mostly intact. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's the truth. She. I. I'm starting to have some. Some doubts. Hey. I bet you probably are. So too did the butterflies. Good night, Vivian. Good night. And you will be able to hear the sound of uh, two different people leaving in two different directions from upstairs. Hmm. Meanwhile, across the city, we cut again to Josephine. The carriage pulls up and the door will swing open. Sorry, love. It's just me, Bale. Um, I've got, I've got to make a delivery here. Could you undo that knot for me? You're closer than me and you seem to be awake. Sorry if I woke you. Sure. Are you cold? I've got a snifter here. He reaches into his jacket and offers you a flask. I'm good, thank you. But let me let me get this for you. Oh, it's just and, Sherry, uh, but it's a good one. That's all right. Um, before I like untie a knot, I'd just like to do a quick look and be like, "Is this going to fall if I no, it's <laughs> untie not. something?" Cool. Then and yeah, you, I'll just remind me. Do you have danger sense? I do not. Okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> Why would I have that? I don't know. Right, that's um, right. You have bad sight and cat like balance. That's right. Yeah, I have cat like balance. I have overconfident. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay. So, yeah, you'll undo that. And uh, he will lean in and go, Oh, oh, this is bloody heavy. One moment. Excuse me. Up, oh, watch your ankles. And he'll grab the ropes attached to it and shrug it onto his back like a backpack. And we'll take a couple of steps. And looking now, you see that you are parked outside of the stone walls of a convent. Doors will open in the side of it. And three nuns dressed in black habits. Uh, and one in a, um, in a red one will step out. Possibly a mother superior. I don't. You're not very well versed in earthly monasteries what's this religion thing like magic <laughs> the rain is coming down pretty hard around here uh but is being buffeted away from them by a pair of awnings overhead good evening ladies happy to be here um i've got a delivery for you um your barrel's back full of your I guess full of your beer? That doesn't make any sense. Nor does it need to, Mr. Bill, says the abbess. Please, bring it inside, if you wouldn't mind, she says, gesturing. Yeah, of course, not a problem at all. And he'll walk it inside of the building. 
Sister Maria, please make certain that he deposits in, in the right receptacle. Yes, Alice. Hello there, she says, looking into the carriage, seeing you through the shadow. Who might you be? Just a passenger waiting for him to come take me back home. He shan't be too long. That's fine. He's not done anything untoward to you, has he? No. A lone woman traveling by herself at night risks all manner of harm. I can take care of myself, thank you. Such a queer accent. Where from do you hail? The New World. I have not been. It's lovely. Can I get a perception and a yeah, please. roll from you? Uh, this is going to be difficulty eight because it is very poor lighting out here. Um, I'm... No, never mind. That's fine. I got a 10 on my... Did you really? Oh, wait. I actually have more dice than that. Hold on. Sorry, I Pretty... forgot with wound penalties. Um, I rolled fewer dice than I was supposed to, so just give me a sec while I fix that. Totally. totally. My brain went, oh, I have four strikes. That means I have... I'm down four dice, but that's a different system. Thankfully, I rolled another ten. That's two tens. <laughs> okay, then uh, we're, we'll stop there and call it there. Um, she's standing in the under the awning, the rain drizzling down. It is a stark, chill night, and as you look out, you can hear the sound of the horses huffing and kind of idly grinding the ground with their hooves in front of you and you can see her standing next to another one of the nuns the nun is looking at you and you can see the plumes of smoke exiting her mouth as she tries to keep warm the abbess's mouth is still and without fog mm. this something this this immediately clues you in that something is wrong yep and as it does, you glance over, and as you do, the second and last barrel, for there are only room for two barrels inside of there, uh, mm -hmm. is laying on the seat. And between the gaps in the, um, uh, between the gaps in the wood, you are going to see in the dark, just barely, what through the entire ride you thought was merely shadow is an old blood stain right around the rim. Excellent. Love that. Do you that. do anything else? <sighs> At least you said at least one of the others was actually breathing, right? Yes. Okay. Um, no, I'm not going to do anything else. Okay, sounds good. Bill will stagger back. And, all right, just, just one more, um, ladies and, uh, uh, miss, we'll be on our way right after this. And he goes and grabs the other one and pulls it toward him. Uh, and as he does, you will get a whiff of the barrel as it moves past you. The smell of oak and gore. Yeah. Whew. Oh. B is quite heavy, ain't it? Oh. Whew. Looks heavy. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Stuck. We thought it was half horse, you know? And he'll 
or at least half mule, he calls over as he carries the barrel full of who knows what inside of the abbey. May God be with you then, my child. You appear like you've had quite a rough night. It's been a long night, for sure. But soon I will be home. Mm, well, I wish you the best. It is, um, not, not a city for the faint of heart. I should say. No, it isn't. Lovely place you have here, though. Yes. Yes. Um, we've been here for hundreds of years. Lovely building. I'm sure you have. Well, all done, Bill says as he stumbles back, <laughs> kind of rough, like brushing his hands off and see you um see you next week then as always take care bill take care miss um josephine miss josephine i am abbas constantina special meet you I will say a prayer for you, Miss Josephine. Thank you. But of course. Come, Victoria. Yes, ma'am. Follows the abbess back into uh, into the convent. All right, love. Let's get you back to Norton Hill, shall we? Sure thing. Thank you for um, your patience there. You sure you don't want the sherry? No, I'm I'm good. Thank you. <sighs> Lovely ladies, they is. It's too bad they ain't got husbands. I suppose they've got gold. Yeah, that not is much. how that works, usually. I hope, that, yeah, I hope he keeps them warm at night. <laughs> I know that I have to do the work for the missus. <laughs> um, as we depart because i wasn't paying any attention at all when we got here mm -hmm. i am i am going to um just kind of like look outside uh if i need a bit of dark sight to kind of see you know better or see see the landmarks better and stuff like that then i'll i'll do that okay um but yeah you don't really need it to it's cool. the, the lamps are still lit pretty late just for safety purposes outside, especially with the murders recently, you'll yeah. see that there are men wandering the streets, and it is a, um, it's not hard to find your way back. And in fact, yeah. to be sure, uh, St. Edward's Convent is right next to, um, to Notting Hill. In mm -hmm. fact, there there is another, um, during my Googling, there is another convent slash monastery in Notting Hill, but it didn't make sense to go to that one. So, yeah. Um, with that, you will be able to make it there in short order. Before yeah, long, that's a little you... close for comfort. So, yay! <laughs> are you having him? Uh, I'd say you're probably about. Ooh, London's pretty. The core of London's pretty small, so I'd say it's probably about 500 meters away. Okay. So, that's still a good five to ten city blocks, depending on how it's spaced. Yeah. Right. Um, which, uh, are you having him drop you off right up front or kind of at a false address at like the print shop or something like that? Um, yeah. No, oh, you're overconfident. Know. Yeah. I'm, okay. Front yeah. door? Front door. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm not stupid, which is why I didn't do anything at the convent, but. You're overconfident and it's just Bill. Yeah. He's nothing. I've got a nice place here. Oh, thank you. I'm just visiting a friend, actually. Ah, oh, ain't friends the best. Wish I had friends like this. <laughs> best friend I have owns a fish and chip shop on the on the low side. Do you uh, get cheap or free fish and chips? A bastard charges me. Oh, pardon me. Um, charges me double. 
Oh, yeah, that's no friend at all. <laughs> ah, it's all right. I'm married to his sister. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you very much for the ride. You're very welcome, uh, Miss uh, Miss um, Miss Jo Miss Josephine, um, Miss Carrington. Um, you have yourself a good night. You as well, and I will get out and go inside. All right. With that, you will walk in, shut the door, and uh, you will be in the safety and security of Dashwood Manor again. And as you do so, uh, who is still awake? Evelyn, you were getting ready for bed. Darcy, you were getting ready for bed, or you were having a conversation with Mai? Probably having I a was conversation with Mai. Yeah, and clean. pacing so, probably nervously because she's a bit hyped from okay. from that. You'll, you'll hear the front door shut. Which floor are you on? Are you up in your room or are you in like one of the uh, one of like the lower sitting room? Um, probably after getting um like cleaned off and, and back downstairs for being too too like excited okay. and hyped. I think she probably would have gone back to the kitchen to make like some tea to try and fall asleep to. Um, so to try you'll and, like... hear the front door kind of close rather loudly. Loud enough in a silent house, at least. Darcy's gonna kind of hold her tea in like splashable <laughs> um, like range kind of up in front of her face mm -hmm. and be like, Hello? Boy, that wasn't Darcy's accent. Um <laughs> I know, I know. I've had trouble tonight going between Scottish and Irish, so I feel you. Did She's... you notice how often talking to Darcy that I fell into Darcy's accent? Yes, it was great. Um, hello. Oh, hello. And suddenly you'll remember not only that Josephine exists. <laughs> what what? How how did we how do we forget you? Why are you doing? Where have you been? You missed like a mummy get exhumed at the at the, oh, I'm the, glad the I manor. That. Where have you been, Josephine? And Darcy's gonna just start saying this really loudly. So if anyone <laughs> is still upstairs and awake, they I might. Think, I think hear. Evelyn. I, th I think Evelyn is. I think uh, Chastity's probably conked. Yeah. All right. What? Do I suddenly now remember that Josephine exists as well? Yeah, as soon as you hear her voice, it's gonna be like a click. I think she probably has a robe in her room. I think we probably found ones. Everyone has robes. This is the Victorian era. Exactly. Um, so at this point, she's probably managed to get some of the dirt off of her. So she's gonna wrap up and pull shoes on or slippers at least and go out and be like, how did we forget you existed? Oh. I'm not did you do something? Sure, yeah, what I did didn't... you do with your magic? Was it magical of some sort? Mm. Yes, but it wasn't me. Um, what happened? Where have you been? <laughs> hey, uh, Kelly, out of character. Yeah. Um how much do um do majors generally know especially in, in this area and especially outside of concordia um about things like sea kings and not terribly much okay. aside from that they're vision quests that you can usually you have to promote provoke them sometimes they just happen uh what you can do is you can make me an intelligence and a cult roll i will do that to know how much you even know about them aside from the fact that they exist and that you probably assume. I think I've heard stories from like my mm. parents and this was nothing like I've ever really heard of, but that's because I have manifest avatar and so mm. that was weird. But what the hell dice? I just rolled two tens again on two dice. Wow. I like those dice. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> So, a decent amount, 
um, that you were visited by by your your well for you would be your your genius, your divine spark, your whatever you consider it to be. But yeah, that yeah. Um, how much do you know about how we become more powerful? Not much. Uh, Mai hasn't really uh, said. I don't believe she's she's quite. We've quite covered that yet. Um. Basically, that's that's where I was. I. It doesn't always happen like that. Um. It. Your some people some people refer to them as like vision quests um sometimes they're they're essentially dreams um apparently mine dis my magical essence decided to remove me from where we actually were i'm i'm not sure what happened while I was gone except the bartender said I was talking to myself so obviously I was still there so you're more powerful though now you've you've gained more magic I I feel more powerful I feel huh more full if that makes sense um but that's not actually the important part of the evening um oh. because um i i don't know how that happened but there was a note left for the bartender um to get me a carriage to bring me home because i guess you all left um i i had him leave that it's fine you'll hear over your shoulder only you will hear the voice <laughs> To be fair, we kind of forgot you existed. Um, you, it was also it, me. It was lit, like, until I heard your voice, I honestly... It was like you never were here with us. Yeah, um... So sorry about that. That's, that's fine. Uh, in, anyway... I... There was a note left to get a carriage, or to, that I had a carriage, uh, I went... And he had to do a, or didn't have to, he was talking about how he had another delivery as well. Um, and it was on the way, so I, I didn't really care at that point. Um, so we stopped there, and it's not that far from here. And it's this convent. And I'm pretty sure one of them is a vampire. Oh. Yeah. Well. And we were delivering casks of blood. Oh. It didn't. It wasn't great. That's no, it doesn't. Horrifying. Doesn't sound too ex too too wonderful. No, not not great. I I talked with them a little. I didn't I didn't go near them or go inside even before I realized what was happening. Um but you know, we t we talked for a minute and then the driver was done and uh I came back here. But it's, you know, only several like, several blocks that way, but did they follow you at all? Oh. Did did they have any reason to suspect you? I guess if you kept quiet, they probably wouldn't have bothered. I I 
don't think they had any reason to suspect me. Um, at least two of them were breathing. I, I wouldn't go so far to say as they're human. I didn't check, but they were breathing. Which is how I knew one of them wasn't. What potentially could Evelyn know about something like this? About post-life existence uh, in the form of hemovores? Um, I would allow you to make an intelligence and a cult role to know. I don't think I have a cult. Okay. Um, would Darcy be able to make that? Because she... you can make uh, you can make a cult theoretically esoterica. Um, I have esoterica. I'll let you do esoterica then. Give it to me okay. at a difficulty of seven. And that was int and esoteric, int and correct? Two. One Two. success for Darcy. One success. Um, vampires. Vampires exist as far as uh, your esoteric estates. Uh, for, I'll do Darcy first because it's lower successes. Uh, vampires are vampires from myth and legend. They're, they're bodies that have been brought back to life by some type of diabolical means. Uh, they feast on the blood, potentially, flesh of humans and uh, must subsist on them. There are many ways to kill them. Um, the stakes through the heart are known. Sunlight is bad for them. Um, they cannot enter holy ground is, is a pretty common belief uh, anything that you would have read in Bram Stoker you would be able to kind of have a vibe check from um, you are Irish so I'm going to give you a, an additional success on this just because <laughs> Bram Stoker is Irish and yeah. whenever the Irish do something big all of Ireland is like yay because yeah. it's not British um, yeah exactly <laughs> so as for you Evelyn uh, you'll know all of that. You may have even read Dracula. Um, it's just pretty big. You, with two successes, if you think that you went through a goth phase, you may have even read Carmilla or some of the other uh, vampire stories that have kicked around. The basic idea remains the same, that they are creatures that have come back from the dead and prey upon the living. Usually they're loved ones uh, in a lot of myths. Um, not always, but um, definitely uh, the original ones that were discovered in Romania, uh, I believe in the 18th, 17th century, maybe a little bit for earlier, uh, were specifically preying on their loved ones. Odds are it's a metaphor for the plague um, that has kind of subsisted, as well as with your medical knowledge. How many points of medicine do you have? One. Okay. Uh, with one point of medicine, you understand what happens to a body when it dies. And the idea of exhuming a corpse to find that its fingernails and hair have grown and that there is blood on its mouth is completely normal. Mm -hmm. But for a superstitious rube, that sure is a monster who looks well fed because it has blood on its mouth, not because its gums have split uh, and its liquids have, have congealed because most people in that day and age weren't embalmed yet, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, in that day and age, I don't think anybody was really embalmed except for kings um and uh the whole bloated thing well it happens to everybody we all get a little bloated from now from time to time um usually after death uh so with that you you would realize that um as well as with two, two successes you'd also know that the technocracy the order of reason uh does believe in them and mm -hmm. you've read case studies that creatures like that do exist and they are not to be trusted and are to be eradicated by the order of reason whenever possible. But they are also uh, dangerous. So you don't just go, you don't go in guns blazing. It is a concerted effort, usually during the day. Okay. Well, that is definitely concerning news. We will need to consider making others aware. I I do have um, Lord Macduff's hotel address. Oh, um, Josephine, you missed um, 
I have a date with Lord Macduff tomorrow night. For what? Romantic intentions, I believe. But you kicked him in the head. Last I... I think that That's knocked like... something loose in his brain, I'm not going to lie. Normally but, they don't um... like that. That's no, why I... no, apparently not. But she, apparently... Well, I mean, he's already one of those fairly forward-thinking men, regardless. He seems quite open to women doing things. This is true. Um, by the way, Josephine has actually like let her hair down at this point because it's been a night so <laughs> yeah D darcy's hair is actually probably undone at this point and just like flowing um yeah so but i'm not gonna undo that on my wig oh yeah evelyn's as well but or at least it's half undone yeah yeah but hmm. yes i'm sure i could bring to his attention um a vampire convent he though it's would... kind of odd that they're in a convent not necessarily it gives them a secluded place to do whatever they want and it spits in the face of god or something i don't know yes there's not much traffic in a convent i don't believe in any case i'm sure lord Macduff would would uh appreciate knowing and if he would like to formulate a plan to deal with it I believe he should probably notify that hunting lodge and let them deal with it the order generally went in carefully with many to help and generally during the day. It is not something to take lightly. Yes. Well, glad to see that you're back safe and sound, even though we didn't realize that you were ever gone, but... Uh... <laughs> I'm glad that you all made it out of the order of reason building um what happened anyway oh you, you know typical men trying to show their wealth and power around and show it off in front of people masked by veiled threats as well Classic it appears the order has great ability to use their people hmm. for instance I'm, I'm quite certain somebody was speaking through James at one point trying to winkle information out of me uh. they underestimated how well I knew him though but he seems to have fought enough to tell me to leave mm. so they offered uh oh yes you can be important and you can be special but we're not changing anything else mm. it's just you because you forced us <laughs> it's not women in general i, think... I imagine after not too long they would find a way to regain the status quo i'm sure i think the thing about the order of reason is i think they underestimate women a lot and i think we could use that to our advantage for a little bit until they catch from what i've wise. seen this entire society undervalues women a lot yes it's different in concordia i would love to visit that place at some at some point it sounds quite quite freeing I think so, yeah. But they underestimate women, but unfortunately, I believe at this point, I've shown them the error of that. 
and they are also very intent on controlling and stamping down. So I believe I have managed to direct all their focus to doing such to me. Well. So I don't know that we can necessarily expect them to make silly mistakes. Well, regardless of what happens, you're not standing against them alone. Yes. That's very comforting. And as you all have a brief moment of, well, sisterhood, I think is a nice easy way to put that, of unity between you, the wave of your impossibly long day strikes you. You almost stumble from it, having finally taken a moment to breathe. And you realize that it's probably best for you all to get some much deserved sleep. I'm going to finish wiping the ick off. Unfortunately, unless I wish to spend the next hour in the kitchen, no bath. But. Darcy will snuggle up with Bran close to her chest, partially because he's a good little heat source. Because <laughs> I don't suppose that I could potentially use matter to heat my bath water. Uh, not to heat it, but you could use matter to clean yourself. All right, I will certainly do that. Now, both of the other mages could heat your bath water in a matter of minutes. I'd still have to go carry all that water up. That is true. That is true. So. You, with you at Prime, you could create the water. I decided to not use this to is, is rescind that decision because I hadn't used it yet and we, I hadn't actually received it yet. Um, that is true. With my plans to have a seeking and buy up entropy mm. and be a disgusting, like breaking people's bodies person. That's fair. <laughs> all right. So, with that, you all head upstairs. The practicality is not off. there. You snuggle down, and you let a much, much overdue sleep finally take you. And with that, I'd like everyone to regain a point of willpower. Woo! I actually you. hadn't lost any. Shut I up. had two <laughs> left. left. I had you two were left. bought one, Christine. You were bought one in the oh, chat. Oh, was so. I? Yeah. yeah, from Krista. Yeah. Oh, Gosh. does anybody else need it because otherwise i'll refund I that am so i can't low use it on okay. I... I'll, I'll allow you just to pass it over to jen uh does okay, anybody want to claim their nature for a willpower does anybody feel that they have um uh... i don't think i did with guardian sadly guardian but... no you so. let someone else stay and protect while you went up and got in bed so no yeah um uh, and random already... i don't know that the paradox wore mm. off to be able to clean my clothes but i can clean me this is true and you can take the clothes off. Yes. I, was, I'm going to was, have to get new clothes. You, you can get completely naked and it, the, the stuff will not stay on you. But that was the problem. It's on any clothing you wear. So you're going to have to be sleeping in the buff tonight because it will somehow magically transfer to clothes until you wake up the next morning. Okay. I will have to add extra blankets. Paradox then. is a dick. Um, Darcy, yeah, did I don't you think do... I can... What's your nature? My, my nature is rogue. So the definition of rogue in the book is that you're out for yourself. Uh, regain willpower whenever you manage to score a victory against the forces of oppressive authority. Uh, you didn't get caught by the order of reason while inside yeah. of their house and got and Evelyn got out. Mm -hmm. And then you managed to potentially hook up with a lord. I'll give you a point of willpower for that. <laughs> oh, um, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Josephine, you survived the encounter, so I will give you one. Sure, nice. thank you. Cool. Do that it. actually puts me back at full. Yeah, that's All why right. I took Rogue as nature because I figured also that Evelyn was at the heart pushing back against the patriarchy. Yeah. Let's do it. Order of All reason, right. so she's a rogue at heart. Stealing them hearts. Um, all right, yeah. everybody. So that's gonna be um I think that's a perfect time for us to take a quick break. So don't go anywhere, we'll be back in five.
Hello, welcome back. This is the part of the program where we talk to you, the chat. Or if you're watching on YouTube later, we talk to people, the chat. Uh, so we were just talking about how Darcy's gonna gonna be a be a whore. I think this was <laughs> happening off screen. Um, good good job there, Christine, bringing in Victorian Moors. I appreciate it. I was yep, just no. like, okay, okay, dates didn't didn't exist. There was no such thing as dating. Yeah, da dating <laughs> also, was a relic of the yeah. 20th century. But <laughs> yeah. sorry, I yeah. also Fair. like the, the juxtaposition between Evelyn being like, do you want to be seen as a whore? And Josephine being like, what? What's the what's a date for? Like, <laughs> I took it in already. Uh, oh, man. And that's not to say that like Victorian times, people didn't have sex outside of marriage. It definitely happened. Um, mm. But as we were kind of talking among us, right before we came back but it's very much that the reputation or the appearance of not doing that was important mm -hmm. so if you did you hit it and that's why it was also really bad for women to do it because contraception is not really like it exists yeah did what do you kind what, of? what year did condoms get invented I'm pretty sure they were around kind of in the Victorian era, but I they think they, they were like weren't what you wanted. They were in, they, they were, were like a rubber. Beds. So like, no, 1855. So, um, and that's sheepskin, right? Uh, do, do, do. Well, so, if it's Victorian, they would have had rubber. Okay. It says, it says first use ancient and there's no date. And then it says yeah. rubber 1855. Okay. Yes. So um, for those who don't know, sheepskin condoms are literally made with animal intestines, like a sausage. Um, yeah. It works sort of. Also, if the knots good, they tend to be, yeah, or yeah, sewn they, ones. Yeah, yeah. But you, yeah, the Victorians had rubber. That's the whole point of colonialism. They were getting rubber and coffee, um, and, and maple syrup, and uh, other things, and sugar. Yeah, and, whatnot, and, but and yeah, they were getting a lot of things. They rubber were, was a big one. Rubber was a big one. We're not going to get into that, that. Look up the history of yeah. rubber and be very upset. Don't read the Heart so, of Darkness, or do, but it's creepy. Do if you want to. Quick question for you Mage, up. though. Would life be able to make your own contraception? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Magic. Uh, life sweet. one, life two at the outset. If you Especially really... since you're just doing it to yourself. Yeah, yeah. sweet. Uh, okay, life... well, Darcy doesn't have to worry about that then. Yeah, life, life one is enough that you just don't have a period. But for the common person. <laughs> yes, for the common way person. Yes, lay person. I'm basically, as a woman, it was a gamble every single time. <laughs> nice yeah. um but you could also go away to visit your aunt and look after her and have an inconvenient baby that was gotten rid of and then you could come back mm. or yeah, at I least did. get married from there mm -hmm. as long as nobody knew yeah right like that's yeah there's a lot of yike sorry i'm just trying to get make sure professor multiverse has a full of all of the characters because his meme game is fire yeah this is true you also have did you, did you get updated art for teddy too yeah i have updated i'm looking for it right now that's why that's why oh, i'm nice. slightly distracted is because brahaga sent me all of the art for every other character but i don't have a final of teddy apparently Ooh. or i do Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Got it. It just was. Oh, it's because it's a JPEG large. That's why it wasn't showing up in Twitter. Oh, Teddy's JPEG large, large is a special eh? file type. That's it. Yeah, yeah. He's he he a big boy. Um, he big. He big. Um, oh, he didn't send me the update. That's what it was. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, wow, we have a long message history. All right, cool. Um, so anyway, hey, everybody, this is the part of the program where we talk to the chat. We're going to talk about some stuff. Anybody got some stuff to talk about? Well, I just put a link in the chat for if anybody's interested to see the blouse I'm considering getting to update for Evelyn. I'm curious. Ooh, I'll I'll put I'll put mine in there, too. Oh, so, that's lovely. Curious. Oh, that's really good. It's just so perfect. pretty. So, it's the exact same one, just different fabric. So so the next like two this arcs, just to, just to inform Ooh. you presently, there is a Parisian arc that is shorter than this one by a significant amount and then there is uh doves on a train <laughs> so um be prepared for both of them because both of them are gonna be great they're gonna be great um <laughs> what i need from y'all i need to know what is 
I knew what is the French word for birdcage? That isn't just the really basic like un cage. Oh. Un Nicolas Cage. Birdcage in French. Uh yeah, cage yes so but yeah that's probably not it um i don't love it like there's got to be another word that i don't know all about. right um do you think my audio is a volier? sorry what v volier is something maybe was anybody else getting my audio being quieter than everyone else no, no, I didn't notice. I didn't notice. I did have some audio lag, so that might have been uh, it. Krista within the chat was saying that I was quieter than everybody else. So hmm. if I, I'm just curious if anybody else was noticing that. Notice me, Senpai. Volier is what I'm seeing. Yeah. Um, there's other stuff like... So it's Volier. Okay, Le cool. Volier. So Volier is great, actually. It's to, it's to av aviary is the direct translation. Thank you. But exactly I think never. it's commonly... So, Used. so Voliere, Voliere is great because I just wanted to do it to be like un cage because I'm going to have a pretentious French title for the French portion. Uh, <laughs> so I'm guessing Elos does not stand for you'll like our stuff, but it does now. <laughs> You're going to love our stuff. Oh my God. That's amazing. Yeah. I love so, it. It's great. Yeah, Elos is just the men's warehouse, but as a fantasy setting. Uh, so what is it? <laughs> Vol... Vol I put it in our Zoom la, chat, too. La Bastille Burb. Oh, my God. La Bastille Burb. Un volier. Okay, cool. So I believe that next... Yeah, so it's, in, so it's La Volier. So I'm guessing it's that like... next chapter, next book, uh, if you want to be spoiled for it, uh, is going to be called Un Volier Diabolique. Hmm. So, or, or in English, The Diabolical Cage. Because that is a very Victorian title to me. Yes. Yes, also that is quite concerning. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, it is going to be rough, actually. What? Uh, no, it, it deals it with some fine. social issues and will be... Um, it will be... We're all here for this, and we're all here for, for, for the things that it will represent. Um, because uh, if you know anything about England and France during the Victorian era, you know exactly what kind of things we're going to be doing, and they're going to be awful. And you're all here for them because we discussed this in advance. So I had not looked very far through Historical Emporium the first time. I kind of stuck to what I needed. Mm -hmm. They have a Battenberg lace parasol in various colors. Yep. Oh, I know. I want I the really ivory ones. I just linked it in chat. Lace gloves. I'm Not very sponsored. tempted. It's I want sponsored. that pink, pink floral blouse with the purple hey. walking skirt and the ivory parasol. Devil's Luck Gaming. Because I want to do a full us. outfit. It's our, Hello, it's our, Devil's our, Luck. Our friends we're from talking Devil's about Luck clothes. Gaming. We're, we're taking a quick quick break before we hop back into game right now. So if, hello, if you want to say anything, talk about anything, do anything, now is the time to do it before we head back into game in about seven minutes. Um, so we're all here. Just We were just waiting for you, really, Devil's Lock. I mean, where have you been? I'm drinking lemonade. Sort of, it's me. I see you have a, a shiny reflective a shiny sticker. Yeah, it's literally yeah, just beautiful. a mug that I put stickers on because... Why not? Yeah, it's free real estate, really. Um, yeah. So, uh, so hi, folks. This is the middle of our mage, the Ascension game, uh, where we are talking about fashion. Yes. Go lightly. That, now that's I'm another... looking at blouses. Amy, I have a <laughs> present for you, and you need to hurry your ass up over here and get it. Yeah, I keep thinking I need to go and like, visit. It's oh, you're doing yeah. Scarlands. Cool. Ooh. Oh, were you running, Travis? I see Plastic Age plays is there. Everybody, go follow Plastic Age plays. By the way. Um, oh, that sounds great. Invite me to the next one. If it's not on a Saturday, because my Saturdays are nightmarish. Um, but yes. Um, yes, please. Um, actually, Amy, if you can send a message to Caitlin and Kristen about that. Like, yeah. Just be like, is this correct English? Or <laughs> French, or you mean? French. Correct. This, yeah, yeah, it's probably whatever. not correct, correct English. English. It's very uh -huh. wrong English. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very not English. Yeah, once you decide, like, have like how you want it just 
I'll send it to them and be like, hey, check our French. Check our French before you re before we wreck our French. Nice. Um, all right. So uh, a couple quick things. Uh, quick shout out in the chat to Devil's Luck Gaming, of course, for rating us. They're a fantastic channel that like really pushed the bounds of uh, tabletop play um, and, and actual plays. So if you like our stuff, definitely check their stuff out. Uh, cannot suggest them strolling enough. Also shout out to Travis Legg in the chat, Plastic Age Plays, uh, who you can see me play under some Sundays in Pugmire playing fetch over on the Onyx Path. Um, besides that... And you're the cutest Sc Scottish dog. I'm a pretty cute Scottish dog. I, I, I am. I'm a, I'm a Scotty. Um, and uh, thank you for all of the non-North Americans for putting up with uh us not being as regular with this game and our accents slipping uh because going back and forth between scottish and irish is not always as easy as i would like it to be and my problem yeah, I, is that when i hear something i start falling into it yeah yeah, yeah. hearing kelly do lord mcduff and darcy having to stay irish talking for that thing I was literally, hard i literally just every time i speak i have to be like gerard butler gerard butler gerard butler in my head <laughs> Yeah, it's Dairy Butler. Girls, Dairy Girls, Dairy Girls. Dairy Girls, that's all you're... It's just like, it's just doing like brain walla, basically. Yeah. Rutabaga, rutabaga, rutabaga. All right. Uh, anything fun we should talk about before we head back into game? Uh, besides, Extra Life is coming up. It's going to be good. Uh, folks, you definitely want to check out my Extra Life games. Robin, your game is about... My game is about Corvids, and that is an R in there, not COVID. Corvid. Yes, it is a Corvid. Affair. It is a covert affair. Where, where we're all crows. Ah, it's going to be good. Or other covert well, birds that have to steal the royal jewels. Ah. Excellent. And besides awesome games, we will, in fact, have a couple awesome giveaways, too, courtesy of Norse Foundry Dice and Adventure Dice. Nice. So come hang out, because I'm not going to schedule when those are happening. So you just have to be there to hope that yeah. you're going to get in it. We're also giving so away That means you have video. to watch everything video games too because that's why we have a humble bundle subscription is to, mm -hmm. is to get prizes for y'all um what else is going on i'm running three games i'm running a game of they came from beyond the grave which apparently is gonna i think it's gonna be the disco dracula episode i think it's gonna be disco dracula's on the moon um that's right i need to find 70s outfit for that don't i it's pretty easy. It's it's easier than you'd expect these days. Uh, and then I'm running two games. I'm running one game set in the Stranger Things continuity, the Hellfire Club game, where everyone is a member of the Hellfire Club playing a game inside of a game. What? That uh, sounds amazing. And then if you can join me for the final game, you will be playing in uh, Game Night at Avengers Tower, which follows a similar conceit where there is a... Uh, it is Game Night at Avengers Tower and... The night's adventure is Dungeons and Dragons. So it's I it's gotta gonna figure be... out my uh which who I want to be for that. I have two. Yeah, you really options. you really should. I know who I want you to be for that, because it's more fun. And I have we have paint. That's true. That's true. Do I have That's anything true. before that? I think I don't. I do have the time for it. You do. You do something gritty this way comes, most likely. It's <sighs> Yeah, that's a chaos game. I actually don't know how that's going to go. I'm going to have to do a lot of voices, though, so I better be. You don't have the money to get it. Well, to get what? You you got the money to get it. Um, Gritty will be back. Gritty will return. Um, does anybody have any questions, comments, concerns about things that are occurring in this game? No, this has just been really fun of an episode, and the setup for potential trauma is, is, is yeah, it's, great. It's, it's been right. a great like little break that our characters have needed, and yep. uh, we're watching in horror as you set up all those like cans of gunpowder for us to shoot down. Trauma, yeah, um, trauma gunpowder. <laughs> what were you gonna say, Amy? Oh, just is great. Yeah, like you're setting up these these cans of trauma. It's like crack open a trauma. can of trauma and just like take a good squirt, like, yeah. Yep. Nice. Um, I other... enjoyed my trauma last last time and uh, I'm sure we're gonna dig into that harder. Yeah, that was that was something. Was Watching good. I legit that cried. Scene, <laughs> that was rough. I was just like I was legit crying by the end. Like stuff, it was just I wasn't like 
getting red, but it was just tears running down my cheeks, just overflowing and running. All right. Uh, the other thing that Emotional I just Emotional damage. <laughs> The other thing I quickly wanted to say is uh, we love you all, and an extra special thank you to those of you who support us over on patreon.com slash dorktales. I, I just wanted to quickly thank you. Y'all are some of the best people on the planet because you help dreams not just be memes and uh, help dorktales be uh, my full-time gig as well as help support all of our games. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And uh, for those of you who like our podcast, I promise... We're in the process, I've been real busy, but I, we're in the process of cutting a new mid-episode ad break so that it's not just me doing that stupid ad because what happens is every week we I get to the day where I got to put out the podcast and I'm like, crap, I haven't had time to cut the ads that we recorded. I guess I'll just use the one from last week and that's been going on for three months. <laughs> da -dun -dun. Hey, White Wolf, how's it going? Uh, hey, also, no thank Thanks. you, Mass Arata. What happened to Maserata? What about Maserata? Oh, they're just like, it's cool to see good oh, DMing and nice cosplay, especially this close to Halloween. We do this all year round. Yeah, that's right. It's Sometimes tea. it's real hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which oh. luckily, this is cotton. <laughs> yeah. Everybody who's planning for the French portion of the game, if you want to adjust your costumes to be a little less warm, all of you have that option. I don't. I have to wear a freaking suit. I love my short this sleeves. This is about as less warm as I can get, honestly. It's just one shirt. But Scandalous. I'm kind of debating short swapping sleeves. to a different, I know, right? Everything yeah. about chastity is scandalous. Like, everything. Y'all. <laughs> showing off. Yeah. Look at this hair <laughs> down. Like, she's not even got it pinned up anymore. Like, I mean, you've got no. a character that that works for, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Whew. All right, folks, um, I got nothing else I want to share with the audience except for my undying love for them. So um, I'm just going to crack my back. Oh, many times, apparently. And uh, ooh, getting old, Kelly. Um, it is getting ready time to head back into game, folks. Um, quick question, though. If you had your choice, would you rather see, and characters, you may weigh in on that as well. Characters, would you rather see the mages? Chat, would you rather see the mages? And in YouTube, put this in the comments below. In the Far East? In the 1890s? Reminder, this is the Meiji Restoration period, the Roroni Kenshin era and all that in Japan, as well as all of the rebellions and, and fun things happening in China there. Fun things, I mean, historically, not literally. They were not very not fun. Don't, don't at me. Um, or the Old West. I really want the Old West. I desperately want Old West. But yeah, I'll take desperately. either. I'll take either, but yeah. Old West. Because I've been refreshing much... myself on Westworld recently, too. Mm. So I really kind of want to do Old West now. I think Josephine would make a fantastic cowgirl. <laughs> I, I think, I this think is so, true. too. Oh. Um, also, I, I, I can't wait to be able to switch accents. Mm. Yes. And I feel much more comfortable doing the cowboy accent and the samurai accent. Yeah, yeah. Just like sounding like a bad dub from the '80s full time, just constantly. I would just, just, I'd get, I'd get canceled very quick. Yes. I feel like if we go old west, I need to see if maybe I can find myself a little hat I can pin on. You need, a, oh. you need a little cowboy hat fascinator. Uh, I was Robin, gonna say like a little straw hat. Fascinator? I was gonna say. Liquid I got last weekend in Vancouver. Oh my gosh. Amazing. It's so pretty. But yeah, because like I have the bun, so I could fit a hat over and mm -hmm. right? Like I could do the little jaunty hat. Yep. It's true. You could get a little jaunty hat. Uh you should check check online for a jaunty hat. And with that, I didn't folks, see any I is, liked on there, so mm. it is time to head back into game. Uh tonight's gonna be a little shorter just because I gotta get back to work. But we are going to set up the next games now. Quick reminder, we are not having game next week uh, because it is Extra Life. And then I think the next week, Jen, you're out of town, right? Yeah, I am, so, which makes me sad because I'd like, I mean, it's going to be a fun thing I'm going to. But it's, oh, it's always a mixed bag, right? Like, yeah, you're doing you're I, doing stuff you love, but yeah, I just have to choose choose the thing that wins that weekend. <laughs> right. Um, When we are getting into um. Because your schedule gets a lot easier in... Is it... November's okay for you? December's okay for you? I forget. Um, Because we're, we're basically I mean, like... How many more games do we have before the end of the year? Three? So, 
Okay, so um, next weekend I'm away, but also it's extra life, so that's fine. Then there's a weekend where we have game, mm. and then there's a weekend I think you guys were talking about being away. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the... we're 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 up doing a doing a thing. Yeah. Yeah, um, and then the weekend after that, um, I'm away for two weekends, and then I'm fine until early January. Okay. And then as of January, we're, we're basically like bi-weekly, tri-weekly, like most weekends, I think, like in January. Yeah, February. my schedule starts getting dumb again in like March, though. March is going to be a weird month, but we'll be back. Yeah. We'll be back usually probably bi-weekly um, for the most part. Um, well, it'll be variable, but it'll be fine. You love us. You'll be here for us. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping to get us to the end of this book so that it's the, the break is a little more sensible. Uh, I'm going to yawn, and then we're going to go back to you. Because I slept weird last night. I think I had a bunch of weird dreams that I can't Ooh. remember. It was one of those nights. You make me yawn now. I know. I'm really trying to fight the urge to yawn right now. <laughs> yep. I've had insomnia this week. So, like, I, I had a night where I barely slept, and then I slept for, like, 10 hours the next night, and then a night I barely slept. <laughs> And then it's been great. <laughs> and for the last thing, quick in the chat, um, uh, Din just asked, are you running a module or is this all in Kelly's head? Oh, this is all in my head. This is all in my head. Maybe I'll write it down afterwards and sell it. Um, but no, 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 this is, uh, my mage games are, are all me. There are very few mage, um, mage modules or adventures, actually. Yeah. There's, there's the quick start for M20, but... There's the quick start for M20. There's the quick start for Technocracy. There's mm -hmm. Gehenna. Or not Gehenna. There's Ascension. There's a few others that are like little stories. Um, uh, like the ones in Manifesto, um, the Rogue Council. But there aren't very many overall. Or Transmissions for the Rogue Council. There aren't very many. Um, and there there are no like really big long ones. So this is all just, just me, baby. All right. You ready to head back into game? Yep. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Three. I have T. Two. One. Hello, and welcome back to Mage the Ascension of the Victorian Age, here on Dork Tales. You sleep throughout the night, most of you, without any difficulty. However, as we are going into that, I would like Evelyn to make me a willpower roll at difficulty of six. I doubt that'll be a problem, but we're going to do it anyway. So you just roll... Just roll your current willpower. Okay. Well, since I haven't spent any, mm -hmm. I got lots of dice. Yeah, three successes. Three successes? Yeah. You will have not, not the best sleep. Throughout the night, you'll be constantly haunted by dreams. One. And one, you are. You're in the kitchen of your London townhouse. But it's the kitchen that you grew up with back in Canada. Transported into it. The same place where your mother would work on the holidays and would, would make. What was it? A pie? A crumble? whatever delicious treat that you would make and you were a child you would try to help using the same old rolling pen that your family had used for generations except it's your hands working at this time and as you're working the sunlight is flittering in through the windows casting just these brilliant beams of light you'll hear a small voice and a tug at your apron I want to help a girl's voice with a mass of curls like yours almost down to the floor her eyes are the color of James's she smiles at you without teeth And 
you'll hear the sound of hard soles touching the edge of the kitchen tile. As James rounds the corner, dressed in suspenders, slacks, and a shirt, midway getting dressed for a day out, bouncing a baby boy in his arms. All right, come on now, leave your leave your mother alone. <laughs> come on. It's a big one. Look who woke up early. <laughs> what are we making tonight? I love it when you make this. Evelyn, are you alright? Oh, I've just caught in my thoughts. <sighs> Try to stay out of those. Um, my love, you have... That's not yours, he says. And as you look down, you can see that the roll of dough you've been kneading into the table is bright red. And as you squish down, you see that you're rolling out a human heart. The blood seeping into the tile that's over your hands. I thought you said you'd take care of it when I gave it to you. Looking up, you see your husband, ashen-faced, a gaping black-red hole in the center of his ribs. Ah, look what they've done to me. And as he opens his mouth and smiles, you can hear the sound of ticking and clockwork overtaking his voice. For inside of that chest, inside of that throat, you can see the movement of gears. And that is when you will wake up to the smell of coffee. I think she's gonna wake up as that kind of like that abrupt just <laughs> upright all of a sudden breathing hard sweaty not comfortable in the slightest at least the smell of coffee helps replace the smell of blood does do you get ready yeah she'll try and take some calmness from the routine a little bit even how out of order it is being not in her own home with her own clothes or anything like that You take a moment to get ready. Chastity, you're already awake. Teddy has stumbled out of bed, bleary and drunk. Now, bleary and, and not drunk anymore, but bleary nonetheless. By the time that um, Evelyn, you start making it downstairs, everyone appears to have already gotten up before you. It's nine o'clock in the morning now. A bit later than anyone intended to sleep in, but Mai and Dr. Freeman decided to uh, give you a bit more time. And as you step into the dining room, just off the kitchen there, the light streams through the open windows in much the same way it did in the dream, and for a moment you're a bit stunned by it. But not quite as stunned but as you will be by what comes immediately next. Sitting at the table, you see that Teddy is kind of leaning forward and leering over um, toward where Darcy and Mai are at the back end of the table. Amelia is sipping tea from a mug, and 
gently tittering with uh, with chastity. And um, Vivienne and Josephine have thousand yard stares in their eyes from having uh, woken up um, without a cup of coffee in their hand and are trying to remedy that situation right now with a pair of black coffees. Neither are morning people. And both appreciate the company of a hot cup of coffee and no talking. What strikes you, though, is what Teddy's leering at. For across the table, shamelessly, Mai is flipping through a book in front of Darcy. So what you see here? The whole point of it is balancing energies between male and female. All right. So, a gentleman's manhood. Size is not important, so long as it's there, really. Well, so long as it's here, really. There are diagrams of lewd sexual acts inside of this book, <laughs> hand-drawn. So. Did you write this yourself, my... I transcribed it myself, I, I, I did. Now look. You have excellent uh, skills. It's quite... I left some of the details out from the original. The original seemed to be very, very big on uh, making sure every bit of body hair was accurate. I find that, for one, it wastes ink. And for two, it obscures it. Almost like a, like a censorship or a, or a mosaic. So... The trick. Good morning, Miss Evelyn. Good morning, May. You're a married woman. Yes. Or you were, at least. We feel right to weigh in on matters like this. I suppose I could assist Darcy a little bit. So. The trick to be certain, unless you plan on becoming with child, is to make sure that you've skipped whatever your moon cycle is that month. You can easily suppress it with a little bit of um, a little bit of herbs, which should be inside of your mother's book of shadows. And um, she didn't write it in there, she's doing you a disservice. Darcy's gonna start flipping through, she's gonna bring out her mother's grimoire and start flipping through the pages. Oh, I, yep, yeah, right, right near the front, it's one of the first spells she's written down. Ah, uh, right after, um, ironically, uh, monitoring any type of cramps from your cycle. Uh, I, yep. Yeah. Right. Also, it's very important, no matter what you do, no matter what spells you have, make water afterwards. It's important. Also, depending on how well you like the fellow involved, it's always good to be complimentary, regardless of how they actually use it. You can gently guide them at that point. Oh, a real, a real, uh, oh, I see, you're a gentle sort. Depending on the fellow, I mean, Lord Macduff certainly liked you kicking him in the face, apparently, so... I guess I should be a you turning and probably asking... probably be quite blunt, frankly. Uh, Chastity, you, you're familiar with um, the pain and pleasure of sorts, sir. Are... Of a sort? She's kind of, like, side-looking around at everyone as that question is addressed to her. Uh, um, to an extent... I mean, I, I could, I, I could help. Teddy will say, I can. I think that could be more Teddy's forte than mine. Um, I'm not sure, Lord Macduff. Lord, like, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. I'm sorry. Did I, did I overstep? Uh, uh, no, no. I, uh, right. You probably did. You missed I'm that. Sorry. Yes, it is. It, yeah, it I'm wasn't sure Lord Macduff. Conversation. So, um, no, it's all right. Um, you yeah, think Lord Macduff's Mac cut. At this point, uh, Dr. Freeman's going to just about die on his coffee. <laughs> um, 
Josephine well, has really no clue like... and is just staring into the space. Like <laughs> Evelyn is hanging on to her composure by a thread, mainly the tea in her hands. At this I'm point, not sure, my sort of pleasure is what Lord Macduff would be interested. I'm not sure. It, um, probably the best part is to know the base mechanics and how not to get with child if you don't want to, and learn together. I. He seems to not mind you being blunt, so I believe you could be. Don't listen to what she says about guiding gentle, gentle. A real woman asks for what she wants, Mai says. Depends on how delicate the fellow is, though. If he's delicate, he's not useful for a ritual. Look, sex is about sex, but this sex is about magic. And not in that namby-pemby, oh, oh, sex is magical and wonderful. This is literally... Fucking magic. Do you understand me? <clears throat> yeah, I, I, and this is probably, if I remember correctly, this is a very, very important ritual as this is going to be the, the first time. And, it, hmm. you know, the, um, I'm sure, if I remember correctly, t taking of one's forgive the term chastity um <clears throat> is quite what powerful if i'm not correct an ironic name yeah I'm, I'm aware i must ask girl you say it's not the type of pre pleasure that you'd enjoy hmm? i'm not quite sure what you mean I'm not quite sure what you mean uh, either. What do you mean? Are we... We're talking about me again? We're talking about you again. Uh, um, it, well, usually I... Some people enjoy um, being told what to do. Oh, the bossy thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With pain involved. Uh, You'll hear the sound of. Ooh, actually, one, one moment, one moment. I have to make a roll for something. I think Evelyn's going to start hiding in her cup at this point. <laughs> you are going to hear, like, as, like, Amelia's hand will begin just <laughs> circling the saucer with her cup. You, you do what now? Ch chastity. Are you, you, you. I've told you, you, you know about my night job. I didn't know you were giving. You mean, I, I. What do you think the grub is for? <laughs> for men? It has other uses, but guess? Uh. Oh. I mean, I knew. I... <laughs> for some reason, I thought that you were dating jockeys. <laughs> I mean, I've encountered a few of them. It's sort of this weird, strange thing about the... They like to ride, and then they like to... Be, I, I don't know, something about inversion of, of power? It, I don't quite understand it, but, you know, it's, it's this, about power, and oh they like God, to going relinquish power. This is going to recontextualize a lot of conversations we've had. Um, Not in a bad way. I'm just... just ooh, I thought the... And what about the... So is the other thing for... And she'll make kind of an insertion gesture. The What, what do you mean the other thing? The... What are, you, what are you talking about now? I don't... The thing that... Oh, no, that was mine. That That's that's 100% mine, and yes. But not the way you think, Teddy will say. I wouldn't worry about it. Evelyn's um, going to decide she doesn't want to know. <laughs> and go and yeah. try and find food. We, we don't really... I just... If Teddy likes what Teddy likes. and I like, I like well, most things. He likes most things. And I like power. Overt. Yeah. Oh, so that's why you like Teddy. That makes sense. Also... What? I mean, he's my, you know, he's like my, he's, he's Teddy. I'm, 
Guilty as charged. Um, I'm going to keep it a bit more simple. I think honestly, for yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think your um your your lord is would necessarily. I mean, obviously, you'd want to prove it with him first to make sure that he's fine with any type of ritual. But yeah, yes, y- yes, of course. Um, I I know very well about. If you're giving your maiden head away, though, you should probably think now and uh, nice and hard about which source it's being sacrificed to. There's a lot of ways to go with it. Oh, oh. Well, in what way? What way do you mean? My, I'm, I'm not quite as familiar. There are many ways to do this type of thing, but if you're giving away something like that, I would suggest that you probably find a nice and powerful person, thing, good to make a pact with. Oh. For example, there's always Easter. Gods of the spring. Yeah. To pronounce it for the, the rest of them don't understand what the heck I'm talking about. Bocata. I, I'm going to butcher that, pardon me. Maka. Mm-hmm. Morgan. Angus Og. There are a lot. Oh, ah, uh, yes, I, I, I've been, um, I've been using Maka. Um, that's that one spell you you taught me about. Um. In influencing and giving basically cramp the 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 cramping experience incredibly painfully it might be I've been using her a lot so maybe if I might be make the most sense to is, mm, Kenny's, is gonna make, Kenny's gonna make a high pitch noise is that what she did to you mm, I think so um mm. Aye, and I'll do oh, it again. Honey. Pat on the shoulder. <laughs> do some reading before you decide to do it. As it were. I'll probably spend the rest of my day before seeing the lord speaking of which Dr. Freeman sounds you got a lot of preparations to make Mai and I were talking this morning and there are a number of things that we should probably be brought to the head if y'all went last night as we all did to meet with the order of reason then that means that there is um, well they know all of our faces right now knew all of our names Doc Taylor and I were already on that hit list Um, but that means they might be looking for us I think it's about time that we started thinking about getting out of here that I can agree with however it appears that there are other things we need to do in the city so I believe that we should do our best to get through it as quickly as possible Go through the items, step by step. Whichever you feel need to be done. Figure out how long that'll take. As far as I understand, probably three nights, and then we can be in Paris. I have something that needs to be picked up soon. Uh, Before I go, and I was actually hoping that uh, you could help me with that. So what else is on the table? Hmm. 
Well, as far as I know, you had planned to meet with Dinesh about Euthanatos, the Chakravanti, and check on that child. He sent a letter wondering why you hadn't showed up yesterday to make sure that everything was all right. I sent one back saying that you were a bit busy, um, but in his he did say that the child was fine and just to come by whenever was convenient for you. No rush. Apparently his uh, sister has taken to it. So a bit more, a bit more time there. Well, that's good. Um, I believe we'll need to source some well, luggage or at least make over some of the clothes from here. We have something to take with us. Otherwise, I don't. Should we take the cube, the box thing with us? I don't think we should leave it in London, so no. close to the Order of, the Re of Reason. Perhaps we'll get an idea what to do with it once we've dealt with the, the laboratory. Yeah. So what is everything that needs to be done? So it sounds like we need to, to, to check on the babe. We need to alert Macduff or and the Order of Reason about uh, those vampires in the convent. Oh. Sorry, vampires. what vampires? The vampires I met last night. Wait, I'm sorry. Jos Josephine! What? When? When did you get here? Where have you been? <laughs> so. Uh, oh. Did you get a. Or like. Did, did you get erased? From the. What? I. What? I went on a bit of a vision quest, and apparently part of that was everyone forgetting that I was there. Um, and when, did when you I get back late last night, you were asleep, I think. Um, yeah. Yes. And. On the way back, my carriage driver was delivering casks of blood to a convent a good couple minutes that way. Ooh. And one of the individuals who came out to greet the driver um, wasn't breathing. I'm quite sure that's not the normal state for people to be. Convent, really? But yeah, that we can't let them stay in a convent. That's yeah. Sacrilege. I mean, regardless, they. Yeah, they're just. We talked for. A couple minutes. I don't think they suspected anything. Um, I just tried to hold, you know, regular conversation. And came back and told these two. Motions at Darcy and Evelyn and goes. Um, and then went to bed. And now coffee. Coffee. Right. Uh, sorry you vanished, Teddy says. Glad you're back. So, sorry we forgot you existed. Uh, I don't blame you at all. Um, from what I can tell, it was a... Um, a condition of the experience.
concerning. Well. But, okay. I do feel like I have a greater understanding of, you know, magic now. Well, I suppose that's good. But I would say we probably shouldn't contact the Order of Reason. We should avoid them as best we can. Leave them an anonymous note if we can't handle it ourselves. I would say we could at least let Lord Macduff know he knows quite a few people in the city, it seems. And so he could even bring it to the Order of Reason if he so chose, because they're not after him. Currently, at least. But he could pass it on to that fellow who owns that place that we all went to. Mm -hmm. He seems the type to do something like that. I might just yeah. collect them, which is also concerning, and I'm not exactly down for that either. I mean, I suppose you could take a trophy. That seems to be their sort of thing. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure I like the idea of taking a blood-sucking demon as a trophy. Well, I mean, you kill it and you take part of it. That's generally what a trophy is. I... Yeah. I don't trust them that much. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Well, at least we could give them the chance, and then if we're ever back, we can check on it. I don't feel like any of us are equipped to handle such a thing, though. But we try and prepare holy water. That works on vampires, right? If you said they what were in, I know, they were when in... they do take on something like that, it is with much forethought, planning, extreme weaponry, and lots of people. And it's not like it's not like the building is just full of vampires, and we could, you know, raise the building. There, are... we're not setting a convent on fire. I didn't say that. I said we're not doing that because there are actual people in there. Good. Okay. okay. If it was a convent full of vampires, chances are the Lord would appreciate it being burned to the ground. I might not be a convent at that point. Precisely. Hmm. Okay, so you're going to fight vampires? I don't want to deal with vampires. I don't want to no, burn down. No, we're not. We're just I don't... saying we wouldn't fight vampires. Sorry, I was looking at the book still. Yeah, What's we're so distracted, distracted Teddy. We're passing that, that off to Lord to make Macduff. Bigger boobs. You can do Pretty many nice things with different life. I turned myself into a man, Teddy. Was I there for that? I was there for that. You, you were, were there for that. You were I, very dashing I, as a man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You were all right. In any case, we're passing the vampires off to Lord Macduff to do with as he sees fit. Fair. Okay, so what else is on the agenda? So we're leaving for France for three in three days. That means that we've got to get the circle open, or I've got to get my compass working, or yeah. or we could get a boat. But it would take a get few a days boat. to be able to afford that. And. Anonymously, at least. And I'm afraid... I suppose take the ferry to Calais? We could take the ferry to Calais as well, but I imagine they'll be looking for us. That's why I was thinking a private boat. Unfortunately, inside of London, even without my uh, local accent, I stick out a bit much here. I'd probably be easy to spot, which means there's only one of us who really can do it, unless the four of you plan to do it. And that is you, Mr. Dashwood. Me? I mean, I, I guess I could be British. Pip pip, cheerio. Bottle bother. Get a, uh... Take a... I need a boat to the mainland. I champ. Bollocks. I can do it. I... <laughs> My accent gets a lot better with with uh, with a roll of American dollars in it. I guarantee. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so Teddy will handle the boat acquisition. And we go and figure out what that spooky key does. I guess yes. I will supervise Mr. Dashwood as his driver, just in case. As long as I'm not the one talking, it shouldn't be that bad. That's a good idea. You were going to say something, Darcy. I, I was just going to say that... I wouldn't... If... Going out and, and being his driver, that is what you've been doing for us. Wouldn't that make it a bit more obvious? Well, luckily, London has a lot of people of my description doing menial labor in it. Should be easy, much easier, so long as I'm not the one doing the talking to pass as normal. Plus... I have my tricks. I don't trust them well enough up close to try to do some type of negotiation. Not unless I've perfected a recipe. Be easier if you could just do it with my. Oh yes, exactly. Send a woman to go and bargain for a boat ride. Oh, my poor grieving husband, I need to tra carry the body home. We'll do something like that. Get a coffin. You can all stay in it. You'll all be my grieving daughters. The two of you, go and be fools together. I'll prepare everything here. So... Planned leave for France in a few days. You're going to go check on that skeleton key at the Tower of London. You should still probably go and say hello to Dinesh sometime in the next couple of days before you go. Great. Yeah. And you, well, hey. after... Mm -hmm. I was going to say it's been... We've had quite a day yesterday. It might be nice to maybe go for a lunch over at... The restaurant and visit Dinesh today could be potentially something we do. Yeah, if you have to be, you know, somewhere for your date, you might not want to get wrapped up in a investigation that might take longer. I, I, I would suggest one thing. However, if you're going on a date with Mr. Macduff, Perhaps eating exotic foreign foods beforehand might not be the most advisable on an Irish stomach. I, I, you're, you're, yes, Being, you're probably correct. My... And using her ver verbena tact will look you right in the eye and say, <laughs> punctuating the end of an opera show with a big spot of shite in your drawers is probably not the way you want to end the night. No. Mm. You're right. I probably should, shouldn't. Um... You could just go and not eat. We're not going to an Indian place and not eating. I'm going to the place and eating, right? I'm going, please let me... I want to go and eat. Chastity, I... I want to feel pain. From, like, my mouth. From the f right, yeah, food. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, 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 I understood. I, I, I know what you mean. I'm getting really. Tired Is that you sure that's the only type? And then and she's gonna like subtly like crack her her riding crop because she just carries that with her. Just like, and he's just gonna go completely. <laughs> we're gonna use the word stiff back rather than erect. Uh, but <laughs> hey, whatever you think applies. Just. <laughs> I, I understand. What you meant. Amelia's going to do one of these Ooh. and kind of roll her eyes down. The camera's going to go down to table height and no lower, and then it's going to pop back up, confirming something. Oh, 
faster than time magic there, Teddy. Good job. Um, <laughs> normally it takes a guy. A, 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 never mind. Um, who's sitting Evelyn's next to Teddy? just going to go back to her breakfast at this point and just Evelyn, ignore. Who's sitting next to Teddy? Is that where the seat was? Because I was I'm last one in the room. I'm assuming it was. Um, I will just say this. Pants in the Victorian era for men were probably quite baggy as yes. the fashion implied which means that it is basically a carnival tent <laughs> a carnival tent oh with that much fabric coming off the sides you don't need much to be that spread out <laughs> i'm not saying that he doesn't have much i'm not investigating it i'm trying it's to remember what victorian era pants i'm more familiar with regency style but yeah. i'm pretty sure they're relatively similar <laughs> in they will display what occurs yes mm. evelyn's not going to say anything she is not continuing this conversation thank you very much if you're all headed if you're headed all the way to the tower of london i do have a favor of you of course there's a place there that you can go and do a bit of shopping. A black market nearby. Nearby, there's a place called the Edgeworth Club. They have a black market. A black market that's designed for... oddities. There are a pair of, um, a pair of herbs I'm looking for. Pretty rare. I have a bit of money set aside that I can give you for them. Either's fine, both are better. Ferula Drudiana is one of them. It's a fennel derivative. The other's moly. As in, holy moly. I would also, if you, if Golden Lovage was there, that would be good as well. Anyone who like, would like to, uh, may do me a favor. And this would be an intelligence and herbalism, which doesn't exist. So it's going to be intelligence. And I'll give you survival or medicine. Or history. If you would like to know this. This will be a very high you difficulty. Do medicine? Sure. I will do um, it I'll do it with medicine. I'll give it to you at difficulty nine, because this is digging deep. You need one success. I will not do it, because Concordia. <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing? Oh, you son of a... Got son a nine a and a one. A, I got one. two ones and a nine. <laughs> two ones and a nine? Oh. I got a nine and a one. Yikes. Nothing at nothing at all. Um actually you could roll for this in theory, um, Josephine. I mean, I don't I only have if... one dot in survival. Okay. I don't think her focus was herbs. Herbs, yeah, <laughs> totally. Um All right, is that all you guys had? Okay. In that case. So, so you have no idea what that's for. Um it sounds like um, Lovage and uh, Ferulia both are derivatives of uh, usually fennels, if I'm not mistaken. Lovage is kind of like a parsley. Lovage is kind of like a parsley. Golden Lovage would be kind of like a parsley as well, assume, assuming. Um, it sounds like they're herbs. And moly is quite well known and has been for thousands of years. It literally is holy moly. Um, Evelyn will ask what a good price would be for, or what the top end would be. I have $100 set aside for whatever you need to get. I could get more if needed, but in reality, all I require is a few sprigs, less than an ounce of all combined. That is a lot of money. Yeah, that's why I will... A 
I mean, obviously try to negotiate downward. And don't let them trick you into trying to buy in bulk. That will actually just be parsley. These people are not to be trusted. They are, um... How do you say, uh... I think the term is orphans. With a big O. <laughs> big O. <laughs> Sorry, man. <clears throat> oh, he learns. Self-taught mages. Ne'er dwells. Yes. I guess the last question, so check on Dinesh. Use the key to find whatever the workshop is. Buy the herbs, go on a date. I guess the last question is, what do we do with you, Miss Sutcliffe? Uh, I'm sorry? I mean, what are we going to do with her? She's not awake, and I'm just going to have her tag along all the way across London, across Europe, across the bloody world. You is that the plan? Just leave her here. No, but Theodore could send her home once his campus is fixed. Could you not? Could you not? Yes, I could. I probably could. Yes, ma'am. Uh, um. Uh, but I, I mean, I, 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 if that's what she wanted. I mean, I, if Chas is going to turn to Amelia, I just, well, I mean, I, I guess we did bring you here unintentionally. Did you, did you want to go home? I'm... I wanna... I... Something to consider is that this is very dangerous and you do not have a way to protect yourself against what we can do. Right, and but someone was... Those hunting us can do. After us, when we left New York, would she not just be in danger there too as a way of trying to get to us? Considering she is not awakened... They will likely dismiss her as not valuable. If anything, the more dangerous is probably, given that she looks like a lady of means, her father trying to get her back through any combination of sources they can find. But... I would be more worried about how much danger she would be in with us being hunted. Yes, we are a target of some I can protect myself twisted from bullets. person. And then now we also have the order of reason on us. We saw those scenes. Whoever wants our attention is not someone we want. Just don't think that sending her off where she'll be unprotected is going to be safe either. I doubt anybody will make the connection. I don't think she's been, she's not truly been seen. It was about... clearly an accident. <sighs> what about what I want? I want to stay with my friends. That's Even if you will be a liability to them. If they have to focus on protecting you over I, themselves. Then I'll figure out how to take care of myself. I mean, that's against something magic. We can, something we can do, isn't it? I'm not trying to be insulting. You're I just want you to know all that. Damned good job. Sorry. Um. It, I'm being practical. You don't know what they're capable of. You've seen some. 
people who are after us do not care that you are a young woman. They do not care for your station in life. Ma'am, I'm not sure exactly, Dr. Miss, Mrs. where you grew up. Canada. The new world, much like you. Well, in New York, no one cares about whether or not I am a woman of means either. In fact, the very status of my being a woman means that they generally don't think of me. And at least, if I'm with you, I'm with friends, and my friends are out there actually doing something. That's true. You just need to think carefully on it. If you want to bring her along, Theodore and Chastity, it's your choice to take her into protection. And if you die protecting her or she dies, I assume that the three of you will have a little, little compact of who will bury the others. But if you get any of the others killed, in particular, my ward, I'll make sure you don't die. That won't be necessary. Can we please stop threatening each other at the breakfast table? It is a, a, a bit... awkward. Hi. She can be taught some basics. She can be taught enough to protect herself. Exactly. From... And I Some. will do what my best to protect her as well. And I'm sure Teddy will also be happy to protect her. Yeah, I, I would. I, I, I'm not going to let anything happen to her. She's one of us. She got here and she's here and she survived ghosts and weird stuff. She has just as much of a right to be here as anyone else, and... If she chooses to stay, then she stays. And if she chooses to go, we can get her home as soon as I yep. get my campus fixed at, in a moment's notice. And you can always come back. Mm -hmm. I know, I just... Mm. I think Chas has grabbed Amelia's hand and is just like hold solidly like yeah. you have seen a part a small fraction of a world that is underneath our own I'm only six months aware of it myself and I'm still learning about the powers that are capable and that and it is terrifying sometimes And we've seen that there are some not good people hunting us. And I personally really need you to think hard about a risk that you don't even know the full length of if i don't know what i'm supposed to be afraid of it's going to be very hard to think long and hard about it and if you want to feel a fraction of something that could be done to you i'd rather be surprised in the moment than have that happen at the breakfast table while i'm still trying to enjoy my toast Besides, it sounds like if all things are considered, the things that all of you are experiencing could be less enjoyable. She looks down at your book and flicks her eyes up, up back at you with 
a little bit of shade. That doesn't seem all bad. All right, so um, I think breakfast is probably good. We should probably start getting things in order. Uh, doctor, your wardrobe is atrocious because it consists of exactly that which you are wearing. We should fix that. You're not wrong. What we're going to do now is we're going to go through and we're going to check each and every closet in this house for anything that remotely fits you. It will be at least, what, five, ten years out of date? We're going to see if we can find any sewing materials. And everyone here who can sew, myself included, are going to try to salvage you something of a wardrobe so that you don't stick out like a sore thumb when we go out in public. That would be good. And those of you with control over the sphere of matter might be able to do it a bit faster. Just a trifle, I guess. It's handy. I can stay and try to do some more work on that as well, while you're out. Assuming that Mr. Dashwood and I don't get locked in the brig. The brink. Brick. The who's cow. Please don't get arrested. I do She's... not want to get arrested. I Have you seen some of the men in London? Yes. True. Great. All right, so we're all we're all set. We're going to stop threatening each other, stop trying to scare away our friends and have fun. I, yeah, ha yeah. Having fun just making aware. I'm aware. Amelia, when we have some time, I can give you a small amount of instruction how we teach young hermetics I've also fired a gun before are guns magic because I can do that guns can be made magic mm -hmm. well I have very good hand eye coordination I want a stuffed animal for myself at Coney Island twice Good. Almost a third time, but the carney rigged it. We'll see now there. That is what you should have led with. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get to work. Oh. Uh, and if you're there, out in any of the markets. See if they have any spearmint. Freshen it all up a bit. Uh, a decent amount, if you would. Um. And with that, you begin to prep your day. What do you think is the first thing you're going to do? So, fix outfits? Yeah, so yeah. fixing outfits and then probably... Uh, go maybe check the black markets. Okay. I think because then and then do like because if Darcy's got her her date. Okay, and then the next day is whatever. Yeah, like the skeleton key investigation part, probably. Yeah. And yeah. possibly lunch with. Depends on if we go for that in the morning or do it in the evening or how we want to plan that out. Okay, and then day three gone. All right. Yeah. Your next few days inside of the. Um, your next few days inside of London are prepared. Yeah. And um, when Josephine does have some time, she will because her medics learn before they awaken, so she knows how to train non-awakened mages in magic. Yeah, is there anything I can do to give a certain amount of hardening to something that Amelia might wear? Not enough to like impede flexibility, but something to protect her a little bit? Yeah, totally. Like, so that could be an ongoing thing or kind of might take me more time to do, but then it's kind of, it's done. And 
Yeah, you can absolutely start having some things like that that are a little more common and using matter. You could do some general reinforcements and things like that. Yeah, it just takes time. Give her essentially some Kevlar like corset tree or something. <laughs> I cast Kevlar corset. Oh my God, I want Beautiful. that. Kevlar corset. I have matter. I can probably mm -hmm. reweave like material within it to yeah provide like oh, yeah. a Even thin Kevlar the, lining. The um or what would be called Kevlar? The like? bones. Yeah, you can just do the bones or whatever as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be up to some something that you'll have to research for next game, everybody, because I'm going to call game right there. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, do you guys have some fun tonight? Yeah. Yes. I need to do a lot of research. Very for good. Game. You you do, and also start planning your costume for the French portion. Um, so. Uh, everybody uh the chat bought you three experience and i am giving you three experience for a total of Ooh, six experience nice. points Jeez. thank Jeez. you thank that you that's a lot of experience spoiling us. 20 i'm up to save. 22 i mean everything's expensive so that's great <laughs> that's true this is true that's why i don't mind keeping the more expensive uh uh choices there since uh you guys are getting like gangbusters xp yeah yeah Save it Yay, up for... I have 18 now. Slowly getting towards the point where once I have my seeking, I could buy entropy four. Yup, I, I have I am at 22 uh, for life four. I have my, four, my yeah. forces four saved. If I Very wanted so to cool. buy life one, yep. is that eight per? Because it's, it's my outside of my. It's ten. Oh, it's ten for the first. Oh, the first, the first. oh, I can do that then because I think I'm at I think I got 20 experience here. Yeah, you can buy I the think. first dot. Go ahead. Yeah. Nice. You can you'll you'll have that within a game or two. Okay. Um. Do you think I have mine three figured out at this point? Because I bought that a couple like ooh no, like just just say that you spent some time ago. with Teddy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, I forgot. I I spent my prime dots, but I haven't put the XP back in my list. Oh. So I actually think I'm pretty close to being able to buy matter four oh, nice. or entropy yeah, yeah, four. Nice. Yeah, because of the nature of our games and how they're spread a little thin, I don't mind you uh, like working with Teddy. Uh, just remind me that there's a scene next game that you'll be doing with that. Cool. And um, oh, I also uh, bought Time Three, but that one was a couple like just only like two games ago, so it'll take a little longer to to figure out. I think that is fair. Well, we'll see what you come up with next episode. Uh, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I, I do want to quickly thank all of you who support us over on Patreon and help make this game and all of the games on Dorktales possible. I, I want to do a big thank you to um, to Shulton, our world building producer, as well as our divine producer, DM Michael Gray, and our two demonic producers, Soul Omen and Bracarius. And Soul's been in the chat speculating all sorts of uh things which is very fun so if you're on the twitch chat you can go look that up uh and we'll see if any of that is accurate um but also i want to thank our princess of the patreon Trizelta, the traveler cubby gummy eolus amethyst buddy and taryn you're all amazing people and i love you very much please never leave because then i'll have to get a different job um i'll have to get a real job this is a real no job. i know right this is a real the job. worst this is like the realest job i've ever had it's ridiculous and I was a professor, for God's sake. That was not right? a real job. I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna be no. honest. It was a lot of work, but it was not a real job. It no. was. It was As somebody who dated a professor. No, it's the <laughs> chillest. Like, like it's a lot of work. Yeah, but it's oh, so chill. Yeah, I just rolled in and did stand up for like three hours a week. Is basically yeah. that, and like, it was great. Yeah. Depends on what you actually do as a professor. Like, if you end up as a full professor in a department. Depends on if you're research stream or teaching stream. <laughs> teaching stream, always teaching stream. Research stream, they expect expect things. All you need is good reviews if you're a teaching stream, and I had the best. It was so good. Yeah. Not to be and you have to I take just, all I the just, I just, classes I just, I just to subject. prove that you're improving your teaching. Mm -hmm. But that's about it. Yeah, that's teaching true. stream is much easier. Also, I got a shout out, Professor Multiverse, in the chat for again <laughs> once again the meme is about our fire. It is. It is. Yeah. So just, good so on your meme game it's we it's love great. the memes so much we love the memes <laughs> yeah they are great and wow. honestly the i think i forgot something meme um is definitely what was going through my head as i'm in the void <laughs> oh oh totally when when kelly did that was like you don't you don't remember this yes. i think i was like oh yes
two and a half yeah. men meme mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. that's us all right so uh folks uh thank you so much for tuning in we love you very very much and uh Thanks for being here. Uh, we'll be back in a couple of weeks with uh, the the last chunk of the season where things get heated. Now that we have a plan, it's going to be dramatic. And uh, I, I hope you stick around and enjoy it. But until then, be sure to go and pass all of your seekings and join the Patreon if you haven't already, because it's good to see you there too. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.